Daddy, I got my report card. Are there any Fs on your report card? Um, no. Are you lying? No, there's no Fs on it. Because, Jeffy, if there's a single F on that report card, we're not taking you to Disney World. All right, well, check this out. Boom. Not a single F on this report card. All D's, Daddy. It stands for Disneyland, 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 Disneyland. Jeffy, all D's is not good. Yeah, but it's still passing, Marvin. There are no Fs on his report card. But D's are bad. D's are passing. And D's are my nuts in your mouth. Ugh, how old are you? Old enough to have my nuts in your mouth. <sighs> good one, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, look. I guess if there's no Fs, we'll still take you to Disney World. <gasps> really, Daddy? I'm gonna go pack my stuff right now! But you have to get better grades next time! Marvin, I don't think we have enough money for all three of us to go. You're right. We're really poor right now. I think we could buy two tickets. Okay, I think you and Jeffy should go so you can have a father-son trip. I guess you're right. Me and Jeffy haven't spent a lot of time together. I'll go buy two tickets to Disney World. Okay. All right, baby. I got me and Jeffy two tickets to Disney World. Aw, you and Jeffy are going to have so much fun. Yeah, I hope so. Jeffy, are you ready to go? Yeah, dang. Sure I am. Jeffy, what is that? Oh, it's Tomator without the tub. No, not Tomator. It's a mask. What are you wearing? Oh, it's the piglet mask I found in your closet. Marvin! What? Where did you get that? I've never seen that mask before in my life. Jeffy, take the piglet mask off. No, I want to wear it in Disney. Disneyland on all the rides. You can't wear that on the rides in Disneyland. You, you gotta take it off. But I gotta show Winnie the Pooh his best friend Piglet. He already knows his best friend Piglet. Look, you gotta take that mask off right now. No, Dad, I want to wear the Piglet mask. Take it off, Jeffy. Look, you can you can take Tomato. You just can't take the mask. Oh, okay, Dad. Oink, oink. So, Marvin, are we going to talk about the piggy mask? We're not going to talk about the piggy mask. Okay. All right, Daddy. I'm ready to go in Disneyland. All right, Jeffy. Grab your ticket to Disney World and let's go. What? Grab your ticket to Disney World. Disney World? I didn't want to go to Disney World. I wanted to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland and Disney World are the same thing. No, they're not. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, they're basically the same place. Uh, no, you're not. Because Disney World is the world of Disney, and Disneyland is the land of Disney, and I've never been to Disneyland, so that's where I want to go. Jeffy, if you've been to Disney World, there's no reason to ever go to Disneyland. Disney World is bigger. It has Epcot and Hollywood Studios and everything. I don't care. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland land is all the way on the other side of the country in California. We live in Florida. Disney World is in Florida, so we need to go to Disney World. I don't care how far Disneyland is. I want to go there because I've never been there. Jeffy, I already bought tickets to Disney World. These tickets only work at Disney World, so we're going to Disney World. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me look real quick. They're only good at Disney World. I already read it. Well, right here, it says that it's good for Disneyland or Disney World. It doesn't say that. Yeah, it says it right here. It does not say that. It does, it does not say that. Oh, you want me to lie and say that the tickets are for Disney World, not Disney... Oh, mm -hmm. I've already heard you. You just don't want to take me to Disneyland because you think I'm ugly. Oh, no, Jeffy, you're precious. Oh, no, 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 no. Disney World doesn't think you're ugly. Disneyland thinks you're ugly, so we don't want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> if you don't take me to Disneyland, I'm going to get all Fs of my report card and wear the piggy mask to school every day. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, okay, 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 we'll go to Disneyland. We're going to go to Disneyland. Okay. Okay, I'm going to buy plane tickets. God, we have to fly to California. I'm afraid of flying, baby. Can you just go with them? Oh, no, Marvin. I have a bunch of appointments. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm going to buy the plane tickets. Let's just go to the airport, Jeffrey. We're going to Disneyland. Yay! Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. What, Jeffy? What do you want? Go, come go out the window. No, I'm not going to go out the window. I'm afraid of heights. Hey, Mr. White doing? What, Jeffy, leave the passengers alone. <gasps> you have peanuts? Can I have some of your peanuts? No. Oh, man. Danny, can you give me some peanuts? The guy behind you said I had to get my own. I'll ask the flight attendant. Just shut up, Jeffy. Because if I could get some peanuts right now, that would be the bomb. What, Jeffy, you cannot say that. Oh. You can't say bomb. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes? I got a complaint from another passenger that said that you were threatening the plane with a bomb. What? No, 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 no. My son said bomb, and I told him not to say bomb. See, you just said it again. What? No, 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 no. I was just saying what I had to say. See, now you're saying it so much, I'm thinking maybe you got one up your butt and you want to use it. What? No! Hey, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. No, 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 I am calm. I just don't like planes. Oh, you don't like planes, so you want to get rid of it. What? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't like flying. You don't like flying, so you want to force the plane down. Oh, no, 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 you're being ridiculous. Sir, if you don't calm down, I'm going to have to strap you to the seat. I am calm! 
Oh. All right, that was pretty rowdy. I'm gonna have to strap. No, 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 this is ridiculous. All right, sir. When we land, we're gonna untie you and we're gonna give you a cavity search. This is so stupid, Danny. How did you get an extra seat belt? Jimmy, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Come over here. I'll kill you. Breaking news, okay? A plane was forced to make an emergency landing after a man threatened the plane with a bomb. Marvin. Sit down there, you! Marvin, what is going on? Well, Jeffy had to- Quiet, I'll tell you what's going on. Your husband threatened a plane with a bomb. <laughs> stop it, stop it, get it out. Oh, look, Jeffy wanted peanuts on the airplane. And Jeffy said if he got peanuts, it would be the bomb. And I said, Jeffy, don't say bomb. And then he heard me say bomb, and then he stuck his hand up my butt looking for a bomb. See, officer, it was just a mistake. No, 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 no. Nobody says bomb on a plane unless they have one. What if the person's flying to Bombay? What did you just say? Get down, let me check your butt again. Well, I don't have a bomb on my butt. That's exactly what somebody with a bomb would say. Officer, what is going to happen. Well, your husband's on a no-fly list, which means he can never fly on a plane ever again. Well, I'm afraid of flying, so I don't care. So, are we still going to Disneyland? Oh, we're not going to Disneyland after this. <laughs> Oh, I hate crying people. Like, whenever I arrest somebody and they're like, that's not mine, you just planted that in my car, I saw you. And it's like, I had to plant it there because I had to meet my arrest quota, jeez. Anyway, now I don't want to see you on a plane ever again, buddy. You hear that, little man? Oh, stop, stop poking me. Boop. But don't, don't boot my nose. <sighs> So how are we going to get to Disneyland? Look, Jeffy, look, we we can just drive to Disneyland, but it's going to take like three days, so we'll leave tomorrow. Okay, good. All right. Marvin, I'm hungry. Can you take me somewhere nice? Well, baby, I just got put on a no-fly list. Do you think I want to go to a restaurant? Come on, somewhere nice. I can see if we can get a reservation to Harry Housen's. Harry Housen's? But it's impossible to get a reservation! Not for Googly Bear. Look, let's go, baby. Okay, can I come? Ha ha, please, please, please. What? No, you're not gonna go with us. You never take me anywhere. You're a dumb friend. Marvin, how did you get us a reservation at Harry Housen's? I didn't. We're just sitting at a random table. Marvin, what if they kick us out? Baby, they're not gonna kick us out. We're already sitting here. Excuse me, but unfortunately, we are closing in five minutes. Aww. Oh, no, no, baby, don't worry. Look, we already know what we want. Can we just order? <sighs> What can I get you? Baby, hurry up and look at the menu. Okay, let me see. Oh, Marvin, I can't see it from here. Just order uh, sushi and chocolate cake. Okay, uh, do you guys have sushi? We are now closing in four minutes. Oh, no, 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 I know we want. Uh, can we get the, the dynamite roll? Okay. And then can I get the... <sighs> The chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, sir? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's right here. I don't believe we have a chocolate cake on the menu. Well, yes, yes, yes you do. It, it, it's right here. It says chocolate cake. Uh, read it. Oh, you must be referring to the chocolate smothered calamari. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. That's up here. We're talking about the chocolate cake under desserts. Mm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't have my reading glasses. You'll have to read it for me. It, it says chocolate cake. Don't you know the menu? No, oh, I'm sorry. We change the menu every day. Marvin, just order the chocolate cake. <sighs> okay. Can I please get the the chocolate bomb cake? Bomb! Bomb! This man claims to have a bomb! Evacuate the building! What? No! No! It was a chocolate bomb cake! Freeze! You're under arrest! Wait, it's you again? Now you're threatening a restaurant with a bomb? What? Officer, it's just a misunderstanding! Yeah, I was just trying to order food off the menu. It says chocolate bomb cake. See, see it right there? Yeah, but the waiter said you also tried to order the dynamite roll. Why are you only ordering explosive menu items? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she wanted sushi, and the only sushi was the dynamite roll, and she wanted chocolate cake, and the only chocolate cake was the chocolate bomb cake. I was just trying to order the cake. But earlier, you threatened a plane with a bomb, so why did you think you should be ordering explosive menu items? You could have ordered literally anything else on the menu, like the like the Lady Baltimore cake, whatever the hell that is, or the, or the buttercorn pudding, huh? Why not that? Or the... Oh my god, look at these prices. Jesus Christ, I should be arresting the owners for robbery. Oh my god, wait, special shrimp stir fry? Oh, hold on, scoot over. I mean, I'm gonna arrest you, but I mean, a man's gotta eat. I'm hungry. Uh, what's in the special shrimp stir fry? Waiter, I need a waiter. Excuse me. Can an officer get some goddamn service over here? You know, protect and serve? Wait, wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right, they evacuated the building because of the bomb. The bomb! That's right, you're under arrest. Now bend over so I can check your butt. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're not allowed outside anymore. You're under house arrest. House arrest? Why? Because you won't stop talking about bombs. You already threatened a restaurant and a plane. I can't trust you. This whole thing's a misunderstanding. And I'm getting real tired of sticking my hand up your butt. I'm gonna have to start wearing gloves because I'm getting tired of cleaning my fingernails. Well, I, I was just trying to order food at the restaurant. It's called Chocolate Bomb Key. That's what it was called. I mean, nose itches. Oh, God, your house stinks. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's not your house. It's your ass. What? Ew. 
Oh, Wait, wash your hands. Wash your ass. What? It's gross. No, don't wipe it on me. Why? It's your stink. It's your ass. It's you. Stop it. <sighs> Look, this whole thing was a misunderstanding. What can I do to stop all this? Well, if you could get a witness that could testify that you weren't really talking about a bomb, then I guess I could let you go. Well, my, my son Jeffy, he knows this whole thing started over peanuts. He knows I wasn't talking about bombs. Okay, well, if you can get him to tell me you weren't talking about bombs, then I'll leave you alone. Okay, let me go get my son. No, 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 no. I can't leave you alone with him. You might threaten him to make him say that. You're going to have to bring him here. Okay, baby, can you send Jeffy a text? What do you want me to do? <sighs> send a text. Send text? Like the explosive? What? No, no, I said send a text. I heard send text. <sighs> can you send a text message to Jeffy and tell him to come here? Okay. You're, you're crazy. Like, you're going crazy. No, I think you're crazy. So I'm going to give you a psychological test, okay? Now, how many fingers am I holding up, not my thumb? Not your thumb? Yeah, how many fingers do you see? I see four. C4? Like the bomb? I'm going to check your blood again. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Ew. Oh, oh, man. Would you, like, not wipe? What's going on? I don't expect someone to give me a cavity search. I'm not prepared. So you're just sitting like that? Doesn't it itch? Hey, man. Well, hey, Jeffy, tell the officer. No, 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 no. Let me ask him. I don't want you, like, stringing him along or something. Okay, Jeffy, I have a few questions for you. So, like, do you guys not own toilet paper? What's going on here? We're gonna ask about the peanuts. Ah, the bombs, right. Okay, so, Jeffy, now, has your father ever said anything about hating planes? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't like planes. Shh, I'm afraid of flying. Shh, shh, shh. Now, Jeffy, do you think your father would like it if all the planes just exploded? Yeah. Oh, really? No, I, I don't like planes. Like, I don't quiet, like flying. Quiet. Now, Jeffy, does your father have a lot of gasoline somewhere? Yeah, in his car. Oh, really? All cars have gas in them. Then why don't you get a Tesla? Well, because because they're expensive. Oh, really? All right, Jeffy, I have one more question for you. Now, is this whole thing actually just about you wanting peanuts? Yeah, because I wanted peanuts, and I asked my dad for some, and I said if I got some peanuts, it would be the bomb. Oh, the bomb, yes, like a good yes. thing. Yes, 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 like a good thing, like, like oh, those are the bomb. Oh, well, don't I feel silly. Well, yeah, it was a big misunderstanding, so you understand it now? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I understand, you're free to go. Well, I'm free to go! Wait a minute, unless he's in on it, and you actually do have something up your butt that I didn't find the first three times. Well, no, there's nothing up my butt. Okay, I'll make you a deal. Let me search your butt one more time, and if I don't find anything other than dingleberries, right. you're free to go. <laughs> No, there's nothing on my butt! Marvin, don't you want this to be over? Yeah, your ass is on the line. <sighs> okay, fine, do it one more time. Yes! All right, I didn't find anything, so you're free to go. And I went up to the elbow this time. Thank God it's over. Joe, so why don't we leave him for Disneyland, Daddy? We're not going to Disneyland! Guess what, Simmons? You owe me a hundred bucks. No way, mate. Yep, that's right. You bet me that I couldn't get the same guy to let me give him a cavity search four times in one day, and I did it. So smell it and weep. Oh, God, here, take your hundred and leave. Oh. <laughs> All right, Kraft, today I'm going to go around and pass out your test from yesterday. And just to let you all know, everyone did bad. Oh no, we all did bad! Dingy dude, I can't fail again! He must be lying, because I know I didn't fail. I didn't fail either! Alright, Patrick, here's your test back, you fail. Oh man! Here you go, Roy, you fail. Ugh, that's totally not cool! And here you go, Little T, you fail. Oh man! Obviously you failed, Jeffy. Oh man, you're telling me all the answers aren't Jevin? And of course you failed, Bori. <laughs> Whatever, I didn't even try. All right, Junior, here your test, you failed. Failed? My dad's totally gonna ground me. Ha ha, Junior, you failed. Shut up, Penelope. And here you go, Penelope, here your test, you failed. What? I've never failed a test in my life. This must be a mistake. Ha ha. And Joseph, here you go, here your test, you failed. Oh man, well at least I don't have parents to check my grades. Wow, that really does suck for you guys. I can't believe I'm the only one in the class who didn't fa fail. is what you did, Cody. There you go, Tess. Fa fail? No, 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 no. I, I don't fail. No, you must have graded this wrong. No, 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 no. I, I was in a rush. All right, stop your whining, Crass. You all failed, which means you're all dumb. <sighs> Come on, teacher. There must be some extra credit we can do. I have to wipe this F off my record. You could have at least just given me a big, hard D. Extra credit? I'm glad you said that, Cody. Cody, because I have a series of games we could play, and it's ironic because I'm Korean. But how would you crafts right to play the games, and the winner of those games gets an A in the crafts for the whole year, and no homework? No homework for a year? Games? I love games! An A for the whole year? Yes! We, we want to play! play. We, we want to play! play. We want to play! play. play. Okay, good. Everyone wants to play. So the first game we're going to play... Who's that? Who, him? 
oh, that's my friend. He's just cold all the time, so he likes to wear a jacket, a mask, and gloves. But anyway. Why does he have a gun? Because he's got to stay strapped because the streets are tough. But anyway, the first game we're going to play is red right, green right. So what you're going to do is everyone's going to line up at the back of the class. And when I say green light, you're going to run towards the board. But when I say red light, you're going to stop. If you're moving when I say red light, then you're going to get eliminated by getting shot with the Nerf gun. Okay? And whoever reaches the board is safe, but whoever doesn't is eliminated. So everyone, go to the back of the crash. We're about to stop. Oh man, this is so cool. All I have to do is win a few games and I get no homework for a year? Junior, don't pretend you're going to win this. I'm going to get that A. This isn't a math game, dude. This is red light, green light. It's about who's the fastest. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Guys, why don't we all work together? That way we all get A's. Shut up, Penelope. Yeah, shut up, Penelope. I'm going to win this. All right, let me repeat the rules. On green right, you run towards the board. When I say red right, you stop. If you move on red right, you're gonna get eliminated with the Nerf gun. Okay, let's begin. Green right! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm super fast, dude! Red right! <laughs> oh. 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 Did he just get shot? Jesus Christ! Dude, it was just a Nerf bullet! I think he's actually dead. Nobody move. Anybody moving? All right. Uh, green right! Uh, start walking, dude! No, Cody, you start walking! I'm not moving. Uh, uh, Jeffy, are you gonna move? Yeah! Uh, uh. Red light! <gasps> <gasps> Alright, that's two dead so far! Green right! Run towards the board! Run towards the board! I made it to the board, I'm safe! Me too, me too! Me too! You did them crazy! Dude, I'm so happy to be alive! Yeah, me too! Alright, congratulations, Crass. You finished this round. Now go back to your desk and get ready for the next game. Get the dead bodies out of here and get the cookies ready. Yeah, just doing my neighborhood patrol since they took my cop car away. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do I smell burning bodies? Huh. Hmm. It smells like it's coming from inside this grill. Let's take a look. Jesus Christ! Holy guacamole! Jinkies! How'd that get in there? That's not good! I should really do something about this instead of opening and closing this grill over and over again! Okay. All right, they're already dead, but let's think about this. Okay, if I hide behind this grill, whoever put the bodies in there will probably come back with more bodies, and then I can catch them. All right. Oh, dude, I don't want to play this anymore. Me either. It's not worth dying. But we have to play so that we all pass. Yeah, I'd rather die than fail. Uh, teacher, can we stop playing? Yeah. All right, class. This is how it works. If you don't want to play the games anymore, then majority of you have to vote to stop playing. So there are seven of you, so that means four of you have to vote to not play the game anymore. So, who doesn't want to keep playing? I don't want to play anymore! You can count me out! Yeah, and I don't want to play anymore either! But Junior, isn't your dad going to ground you if you fail? I guess you're right. When my dad sees my grades, he's pretty much going to kill me anyway. I guess I'll keep playing. Uh, I don't want to play anymore, but this is too crazy for me. Uh, I don't want to play anymore either, because I'm Roy, and I'm too cool to play this, and I have too much to live for. All right, Crass, that's three people who voted to quit playing. You need one more vote in order to stop playing the games. Jeffy, what do you want to do? Come on, dude, in the games. It's not worth not having homework for a year. Wait, no homework for a whole year? Huh, I want to keep playing. Okay, that means we're going to keep playing these games. Yes! Woohoo, yeah! Oh, you guys suck. This isn't worth dying for. All right, Crass. The next game we're going to play is called Misfortune Cookies. So if you want to have a cookie in any of these shapes, what shape would you pick? On the piece of paper in front of you, draw the shape of the cookie you would want. Ooh, I want a circle cookie, because Chips Ahoy cookies are circles. That's very creative, Junior. Ooh, I'm going to do triangle, like a Christmas tree. Ooh, I'm going to do a square, because it reminds me of the box I'm going to live in when I'm homeish. You guys are all picking lame shapes. I'm going to do a star cookie. All right, I think everyone's done drawing their shapes. Hey, you, go pass out the cookies. I told you square because it looks like SpongeBob square pants. I chose a star because I am one. I'm cool. I chose triangle because it looks like the tip of my pee pee. What the hell is this? This is a weird cookie. Can we eat it? No, Crass, you cannot eat the cookie. Too late. 
All right, class, you cannot eat the cookie. What you're supposed to do is, is cut the shape out of the cookie without breaking the shape. If you break the shape, you'll get eliminated. No, oh, come on, that's impossible. I got the hardest shape. Yeah, my shape's really hard. I got the easiest shape. Mine's easy too, dude. Ha, looks like I'm moving to the next round. Oh, where do I even start? I did it, I did it. I did it too. <sighs> Great, I'm really happy for you guys. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's not stressful at all. I'm doing it, okay? Jeez, just... Uh, oh, boy. Oh, don't break, don't break, don't break. Uh, well, I love you, Ken. Ah! Cody, die! Dude, hurry up! Don't die! Uh, okay, I'll try it, I'll try it! Oh, poor Cody. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jacket, dude? I broke mine. Can I have another one? I thought Roy was too cool to die. Come on, Junior, take your cookie out. I'll take you out on a date and pull those pigtails. Mm, 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 mm. I hope your cookie breaks. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, teacher, I'm done. Am I allowed to eat the cookie now? Yes, class. If you successfully get the shape out, you can eat the cookie. Yes, dude, I'm hungry. I'm not eating this. I don't know where it's been. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Better hurry up, Junior. Oh, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Um, All right, class, you got 10 more seconds to get the shape out of the cookie or else he's going to blow your brains out. Hurry, dude! Oh, I'm hurrying. No. Oh, I don't want to mess this up. Hurry Seven, up, Junior. Six, Come on, I believe in you, dude. Five, I don't want you to die. Four, oh, three, oh, here it goes. I'm going to try to break it. Two, uh, one. I did, I did, I did, I did. I didn't break it. Yes, dude. Aw, man, I wanted it to break. Oh, I move on to the next round. Congratulations, class. Four of you are moving on to the next round. All right, go get rid of all the dead bodies. All right, Crass, we're gonna take a quick break so I can get your next game set up. I switch seats. Uh, guys, what do you think the next game's gonna be? Well, there's four of us, so maybe we'll play four square. No, dude, it's gonna be freeze tag, and if you get tagged, you die. <laughs> well, I think whoever has the shortest wiener's gonna die, so you can go ahead and shoot me. Aha, uh -huh. you're the one that's been doing this. Come here. All right, Crass, for the next game, you're going to need to pick a partner. So go ahead and choose someone to be partners with. Pick a partner? Ooh, pick me, dude. I'm your best friend. I know, Joseph, but what if the next game is to make a baby? I want to be partners with Penelope. If that's the next game, go ahead and shoot me. Dude, that's not going to be the next game. We're kids. Pick me. I guess you're right, Joseph. Let's be partners. Yes. Oh, sweet. Nah, that means I need to be partners with a girl with boobies. We got this, Jeffy. We're going to win. No, me and Joseph are going to win. Yeah. All right, Crass, now that you have your partners, let's start the next game. Wait, where, where, where'd my little guy go with the gun? Oh, damn it, let me go see where he went. Ugh, all right, I took that guy's suit. Oh, man, this thing's sick. I'm gonna wear it when I go skiing. Hey, what's taking you so long? Uh, I, I had to pee. You're not supposed to talk, come on! What? All right, stand right there and shut up! Is this a classroom? Shut up! Okay, jeez. All right, Cross. so the next game we're gonna play is heads or tails. So each group is gonna get one quarter, and then each of you is gonna pick a side, either heads or tails. And then you're gonna flip that quarter, and whatever side the quarter lands on, whoever had that side gets to live, and the other person gets shot by this guy. I'm sorry, what? All right, let's get started. Oh man, Joseph, I don't wanna play this anymore. Me either, dude. I thought we were gonna be on the same team, not going against each other. I don't want you to die, Joseph. I don't want you to die, dude. <laughs> Well, let's get this over with. What side you want? Tails never fails. All right, well, that means I'm heads. Well, Wait, wait, wait. What side is it? I can't see in this mask. It's tails, so I win. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't really know what the hell I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to shoot him. I won. Like, like with this Nerf gun? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. What's that going to do? Jesus Christ, this is a real gun? Yeah, they make it look like a Nerf gun. No, 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 no. I'm shutting this shit down right now. All right, that's it. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm a cop and you're under arrest. Okay, well, you see this remote control? Yeah. And you see that suit you're wearing? Yeah. Well, if I press this button on this remote control, that suit will self-destruct. Well, looks like I'm shooting some people. That's what I thought. All right, you better hurry up and flip that coin. Uh, Joseph, what side do you want? The side that'll win? Uh... What side would you choose? Oh man, that's tough. I mean, it's literally 50-50, so it doesn't really matter. Well, help me choose. Listen, kid, if I tell you what side to pick, and you pick that one, and then you die, I'm gonna feel bad. I'm gonna have to live with that on my conscience, especially because I'm gonna be the one who shoots you. Well, 
Ooh, what if we both choose heads? Yeah, if, if we both choose heads and it lands on heads, can we both live? Yeah, I like that. What if they both pick heads and it lands on heads? Can they both live? You can't do that. One's got to pick tails and one's got to pick heads. Sorry, you heard him. You got to pick one or the other. Oh, okay, well, what if when we flip the quarter, it lands on the side of the quarter? Like, it doesn't land on each side. Yeah. Huh. What if when they flip it, it lands on the side of the coin and not either of the other sides? Well, by the off chance of that happening, you flip the quarter again. You keep flipping it until it lands on a side. Yeah, you heard him. You got to flip it again. Well, what if it never lands on a side? What if it keeps See, landing? I, I think he's going to insist that it lands on one side or the other. <sighs> okay, Joseph, what side do you want? Oh, I want tails, dude. What? I want a tails. Dude, I want it first. Okay, how about we flip the quarter to find out who gets tails. If you don't flip the quarter right now, I'm shooting both of you. Oh, okay. I'll be heads. Okay. All right, flip the quarter. <laughs> it's head, it's head. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Wait, I thought it was your friend, dude. Well, well, well. We're down to the final two. Junior and Penelope. What's the next game gonna be? Shut up! It's on the board! Oh, yeah, I guess it is. I just can't really see too good out of this mask. Shut your PlayStation controller face up! Alright, anyway, Junior and Penelope, your final game is one round of rock, paper, scissors. You're gonna play that round, and whoever loses gets eliminated. And the last person standing is the winner. You ready, Junior? Uh, why is your hand in your skirt? Because I don't want you to see what I picked! Can I put my hand up your skirt to choose what I want? Oh, just go! Uh, what would you pick? Listen, man, you're on your own this time. Okay, uh, rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot! shoot! Ew, why does your finger smell like fish? Oh my god, I won! Uh, wait, 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 what is it? I can't see in this mask. This mask sucks! He has paper and I have scissors! No, 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 this is rock. That's not a rock, Junior. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, it's a very flat rock. No. Yeah, it... No, this is a okay, flat rock. Okay, okay, listen, I'm getting tired of this. Uh... Oh, my God, I won! Yay, my daughter won! What, Dad? Yeah? What are you doing here? This is awful! Oh, come on, it's not like I signed up for this. Did you not hear the thing about the suit exploding? Congratulations, Penelope! You're the winner of Squid Game! I don't know why it's called that, but you're the winner! So that means you get an A-plus for the rest of the year and no more homework. Yay! Congratulations, Penelope. I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, so just go home and tell your mother that she is a fat cow and tell her to stop eating so much. That's why you got divorced, Dad. Yeah, it is. And now I'm going to go home to my other wife I don't like. <gasps> It's just me, Karen. Boy, me, is that you? Yeah. Why are you dressed like a ninja? It's just, I I had a thing I had to do. Well, how was your day, Boy, me? It, I just, you know what, I really just don't want to talk about it. Guys, I saw the coolest movie in the world last night, and I want to imitate it. Dude, what was it? Up. Up? Oh, like the Pixar movie. Yeah, this old guy, he like wants his house to fly, so he ties a bunch of balloons to his house, and his house actually flies, so I want my house to fly. Look, you can't really do that, Junior. That was just a movie. What? Yeah, I can. Balloons make stuff go in the air. So if I put enough balloons on my house, it'll go in the air. Well, maybe, but it would take, like, millions of balloons. So we're just going to get millions of balloons. Well, how are you going to get millions of balloons? Could you buy it? Yeah, what an idiot. Like, he's so dumb. He acts like he doesn't know what money is. Dude, it's like only two cents for balloons. Yeah, so it's like only like 20 bucks. <laughs> he's supposed to be the smart one. I know. Junior, just because you see something in a movie doesn't mean you can really do it. It happened in a movie, Cody, so that means it can really happen. They don't make movies about stuff that doesn't happen. Well, yes, they do. They do it all the time. Like, what about Star Wars? That actually happened. It happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. They even tell you in the beginning, Cody, it's history. Okay, fine. So look, you're telling me that every Pixar movie didn't actually happen, so you're telling me that there's like Ratatouille. There's not a restaurant in France that's like ran by rats? Well, yeah, no, that did not happen. So monsters don't come out of your closet to collect your screams? Yeah, but th that happens. But no, it doesn't. No, yes, it does, Cody. Yes, it does, dude. My uncle comes out of my closet to collect my screams all the time. Exactly. Look, look, look Cody, we're going to prove it to you. Come on, let's go look at my closet. I bet you're going to see the monster universe. I see my uncle. All right, guys, we're about to open my closet. You ready to see a bunch of monsters trying to collect our screams so they can feed their families? Dude, I gotta warn you guys first. My Uncle Larry, he doesn't like to wear pants. He's a goofball. Guys, there's not gonna be anything in that closet but clothes. Well, if my Uncle Larry's in that closet, there would not be any clothes. Alright, look guys, guys, we're gonna open the door and we're gonna see a bunch of monsters on the laugh floor. Oh wait, I forgot! They collect our laughs now. So Cody, when we prove you wrong, we're all gonna laugh at you so we can give them a bunch of energy. Oh yeah. Alright, say hi to Mike Wazowski! <laughs> I told you. Oh, great. They shredded our door. What? Or there were no monsters in there to begin with. No, they heard about our plan that we were going to expose them, so they shredded our door because they didn't want us to find out about the monster world. Oh, dude, I hate when that happens. Well, Cody, why would you do this? Whatever. 
Wow, guys, I can't believe I'll never see Mike Wazowski do stand up in my room ever again because they shredded my door. Again? Yeah, Mike Wazowski always came in my room and did jokes. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to blow up a bunch of balloons so my house can fly. I want to go to space. Junior, there's not enough balloons in the world to send your house to space. I have a bunch of balloons downstairs, Cody, and we're going to blow up some balloons and prove you wrong yet again. Uh, wait, ag again? You didn't prove me wrong about the monsters. <sighs> oh, this is going to take forever. Joseph, how many balloons have you blown up? Only one, dude. I'm getting lightheaded. <sighs> me too. Junior, this isn't going to work. You don't have the right kind of balloons. What are you talking about? You need helium balloons. These are rubber balloons. No, no, Junior, helium is what goes inside the balloons. It's a gas. Oh, Joseph, we're supposed to be farting in the balloons. Start farting in them. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> Junior, you don't fart in the balloons. You, you have to mine for helium. You have to mine for it? Yes. You're mine, helium. You're mine. Yeah, you gotta want it. You're mine. No. Claim it. Oh my God. Come here, helium. You're yeah, mine. Own it. Junior, you have to drill for helium in the earth. Why? Because it comes out of rocks. Oh, we have to collect rock farts? Oh. Joseph, do you still have Dwayne The Rock Johnson's number? No, I lost it, dude. Oh, we could really use his farts right now. I know. All right, so we can just go buy helium balloons, right? Well, I mean, yeah. But Come on, Joseph, we're going to buy some balloons. Okay. But Junior, that's... All right, Cody, we bought a bunch of helium balloons. You bought three. Well, well, the guy in the movie used regular balloons. These have characters on them, so they're more powerful. What? The minions made so much money in the box office. You know how much weight that is to carry? What, Junior, it doesn't matter. They can't lift your house. Yes, they can. Well, they're not even lifting your couch, so why would they lift your house? Well, what do you want me to do, Cody? I want you to accept that your house is not going to fly. Yes, it's going to fly. Well, I want to go to space. Who are we going to talk to to help get my house go to space? Dude, call Elon Musk. He'll know. Oh, yeah, him. Wait, you still know his number? Oh, no, I forgot. Oh, Joseph always forgets phone numbers. Ooh, ooh, I'm so stupid. What, dude? Why don't we just call some aliens to lift our house with a UFO? Dude, that's genius. Wait, Junior, you just know aliens that you could just call. Yeah, let's call outside. I know how to call them. Wait, what? Junior, how are you going to call an alien? Like this. Junior, what was that? It's an alien phone call ring. Wait, really? Because it sounds like a turkey. Waka, waka, waka. Okay, that sounds like Pac-Man. Dude, look. Oh, wait. You've got to be kidding me. All right, guys, get inside the house, get inside the house. Okay. Whoa! Oh, the house is getting lifted up, guys! I think the balloons are helping. No, Junior, I'm pretty sure it's the aliens with their UFO. No, the balloons are definitely helping a little bit. Guys, we're in space! Dude, this is so cool! How are we breathing? Okay, okay, guys, guys, uh, what's going on? We're in space! Yeah, yeah, I noticed. See, I, I, I was using your bathroom, because I do that sometimes. I like to just sneak into your house and use a bathroom, because I don't like using gas stations. And then when I tried to leave, I, I noticed we were in outer space. Yeah, I got aliens to take my house to space. Oh, okay, c cool. Uh, do, do you know when they're going to bring us back down to Earth? I don't know, I gotta talk to them. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, that that's fine. I just, I left my car running, so I don't, I don't want it to run out of gas. And I was also on the phone with my wife, and, and I told her to hold on, so she's probably going to be on hold for a while. And she's always wanted to go to space together, so if I tell her I went without her, she'd be pretty mad. So. Oh, well, I'll try to talk to him, but I guess we'll be in space for a little bit. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. I, uh, I I guess I'll just walk, walk around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you are so hilarious! <laughs> Wait, what are you doing in here? I told you to get out of here. You know I'm watching Charlie and Friends. Wait, what are you doing with that knife? Huh, I wonder what's in this room. I mean, it's not my house, but I'm still curious. All right, Cody, now that we're in space, can we go outside and, like, float around? No, Junior, there's no oxygen outside. What's oxygen? It's what we breathe, Junior. I thought we breathed helium. Junior, you're so stupid. Guys, guys, guys! I just found a body! What? Wait, 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 what's that mean? Well, it means somebody in this house is an imposter! Or a murderer. I mean, that, that's really a better term for what they're doing. They're not really impersonating anybody. Or someone in here is impersonating someone. That's not a bad person! Y yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. Sure, yeah. Oh, well, where'd you find the body? Well, it was in your dad's room. <gasps> My dad's room? Well, we were all here. Yeah, we were in here, dude. Yeah, so you're the one who did it because you were the one that found it! What? No, I, I'm a cop. I wouldn't do that. I mean, he is a cop. He is pretty nice. Well, was he unarmed? Yeah. Well, yeah. All sus. Yeah, totally sus. Right. It's sus. Well, come on, why would I do that? Guys, I think we should skip because we don't really have any, like, you know, proof. So I think we should skip this round and just see if we have any, like, evidence next round. Mm, I guess so, dude. Let's skip. All right, you get away with this one. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to just walk around the house and try to find some more clues. Who could the imposter be? I don't know, dude. Oh, my 100 cheesecake tonight. 
and I don't think I can finish it. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I can. Come here, you. Oh, oh, hey there, donkey. What are you doing with that knife? Would you like a piece of cheesecake? Oh, no. Tutti frutti, oh, booty. Tutti frutti, oh, booty. Tutti frutti, oh, booty. Tutti frutti, oh, booty. Jeffy, shut up. Mario, he's just being creative. Sometimes I just wish Jeffy was gone. Mario! Turn it for I'll boot it! Turn it for That was mature. Tootie fruity on that booty. Mario, I'm going into the kitchen. What? <sighs> Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> What? I'm calling a meeting. Where? 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 It was in the kitchen. I was upstairs. I was on the couch. Oh, well, I was doing my job in the kitchen. You were in the kitchen. It was you. Well, I was cooking in the kitchen. What were you cooking? Uh, pasta? Pasta. Imposter. It's him. Well, it's not me. You guys gotta be kidding. Look, I am not the imposter. Look, uh, uh, I heard someone say, hey, donkey, a minute ago. <gasps> Mario, you're the only one he calls donkey. Mm -hmm. well, uh, Shrek calls everyone donkey. How did you know it was Shrek? Sus, sus. No, 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 no. I, I assumed it was Shrek because he said, hey, donkey, and it was in the kitchen. He always eats cheesecake in the kitchen, so I thought it was Shrek. Nope, it's him. I vote him. What? I vote Daddy. Me yeah, too. I vote Mario what? No. All right, get him. What? No. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oscar. Oh, it wasn't him. Yeah, serves him right after he threw my avocado guitar. Everyone back to normal. Turn bird. Oh, booty. Doing with that knife? Ah! Jeffy, I'm coming to say goodnight. Ah! Why did I report it? Where? 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 Right here, right there, right there. You reported it. That's kind of sus. <gasps> That's my son. Actually, he's adopted. She's already lying. Yeah, Teal's acting sus. Yeah, she's sus. Sus. I wouldn't kill Jeffy. All right, where was everyone at? I was upstairs. Well, I was in the kitchen. I was in the red couch room. Um, I was here. Oh, she totally did it. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, she, her. yeah, she, yeah, she did it. Yeah. No! Oh, she wasn't the imposter. Well, I'm gonna go back to cooking. Well, I'm gonna go back to looking for clues. I'm gonna go sit with my friends again. Wait, how do you know one of your friends isn't the imposter? Because I've been with them the whole time. Except for right now. <gasps> Uh-oh. Cody, are you the imposter? No. Oh, buddy! Where? Where? Right here, and Cody totally did it because he didn't say anything. He didn't even report it. No, no, I didn't report it because I didn't want anybody to think that I did it. That's totally sus. Yeah, it's pretty sus. That's very sus. And Cody, you were sitting here next to him the whole time, so you would have saw who did it, and but, you did it. No, no, I got up to use the bathroom. Oh, so you just used the bathroom right now? Yeah, and I just got back. But here, ask Ken. Oh, come on, Ken! All right, does everybody vote Cody? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's throw him out. No, it wasn't me, guys! Get, get, get out of here! What? He wasn't the imposter? Okay, I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this at this point. We just keep throwing people out into space. Yeah, we're basically the imposters because we keep killing everybody. Yeah, we probably killed more people than he has at this point. All right, look, it's not going to be hard to figure it out now because there's only three of us. Four. Oh, get, get out of here! here. Well, it wasn't him either, but we had to be sure. Yeah, he was really quiet, and that was sus. Well, I'm gonna get back to cooking. Well, no, Chef PB, there's only three of us left. It's one of us, so we're all gonna stay here. Well, it wasn't me. I was cooking the whole time. You don't know how to cook. That's sus. I'm a chef, Junior. There's nothing sus about that. And what about this cop? Well, I was looking for clues. Well, well what clues have you found? Well, none. Oh, that's sus right there. Yeah, it's really sus because right. if you haven't found any clues yet, that means you haven't been looking for anything. You've been killing people. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't doing that. I, I, I'm just I'm just really bad at my job, okay? Well, I think that's really sus. I think the cop did it. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. What about you? What have you been doing? I've just been sitting on this couch. Really? And that's where Joseph was found. <gasps> well, well, no, no, I wasn't here when Joseph got found. I was with you on the, uh, discussing other stuff. I don't know. That's pretty sus. Yeah, that's pretty sus. No, no, no. You've been walking around. We don't know where you've been. You claim to be cooking, but I don't smell any food. So I definitely think you're sus. I think just sus. Whatever, dude. I'm getting back to, to cooking because I'm tired of this, Junior. I don't know. Chef Evie's really sus because of how fast he wants to go to cooking. Yeah. Or you're sus because you want to stay next to me because you want to kill me. N -n no, no. You want me to be alone so you can kill me. Well, no, you get back. You step back. No, no. You step back. And you leave. You, you walk away. Well, this is my couch. You walk away. Oh, okay. <sighs> Who is it? Huh. Okay. So there has been some cooking going on. So he wasn't lying about that. But where is Chef Peepee? Oh man, I'm so nervous. It's either Chef Pee Pee or the cop. Chef Pee Pee or the cop. I should flip a coin. Heads or tails. What's that noise? Oh, oh God. Oh.
Oh. Oh, shit, baby! <laughs> I got you now, Junior! I'm the imposter! Emergency meeting! What? Uh, Chef Baby's the imposter! Proof? Uh, he just fell out of the vent and he has this weapon! Well, I didn't know the no, Junior's the imposter! I saw him come out of the vent with a uh, knife! Yeah, yeah, no, 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 Chef Baby, you came out of the vent! No, I saw you come out of the vent! Wait, 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 what's this vent thing you're talking about? I think the way Chef Baby's been killing everyone is he's been moving through the vent so we don't see him walking around. Huh. That'd be pretty smart, but you came up with that on your own? Well, I mean, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, no, 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 that, you, that must be what you're doing, Junior, because I didn't even know you could do that. Well, wait, I didn't know you could do that until I saw you do it. You're the one who came out the vent. I was cooking the whole time, Junior! Wait, 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 wait. I just came from the kitchen, and you weren't in there. Uh, I mean, I, I came up here as soon as he called the meeting. That's that's what it was. No, I only called the meeting because I saw you come out the vent. Why would I call a meeting just for no reason? Y oh. y wait, 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 wait. You said you saw him come in the vent, but how could you do that if you were just coming from the kitchen? Uh, uh I was coming up uh, the stairs, and I saw him coming out of the vent with a knife! Where? I saw it all! No, I saw you come out of the vent! Why would I call a meeting? If I was gonna tell him myself. Oh, 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 I know. Because you wanted me to think it was him. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, no, okay, so what if you would have showed up before him? Well, then you would have blamed me. Oh, yep, totally sus. It's him, it's him. Yep, I'm voting him. Oh, what the Get him. No! Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's you. No, it's you! No, I know it's obviously not me, because I know I didn't do it, and there's nobody else left. There's no point in lying now. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I won! I won! Yeah, congratulations. You win life in prison when we get back to Earth. So, uh, when do we get back to Earth? I don't know, because we just threw the only guy who could talk to aliens into space. Oh. I win, though. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, you want to play basketball? No, Joseph, you have an unfair advantage at basketball because of the way you look. Wait, what's that supposed to mean, dude? Because you have a basketball on your shirt. Obviously, that means you're good at basketball. Oh, yeah, you right, you right. Well, you guys want to play football? We could play no tackle, you know, two-hand touch, but we can only grab each other's butts. Or we could play by Tom Brady's rules and kiss each other in the mouth. Dude, it's too hot to play football outside. Okay, well, we could play naked and still tackle. How about we play... Baseball. Ugh. No, Junior. Come on, you know no one likes baseball, dude. So what are we gonna play? Uh, we could play tennis. That sounds kind of like penis, and I like that. No, we can't play tennis, Cody. We need four people. We only have three people, and it's hot outside. Hey, guys! You wanna play hockey? What the puck? Puck, yeah! Yeah, let's puck and play some hockey. Fuck yeah! Well, I'm gonna be better at hockey than you, Joseph. No, wait, no, you're not, dude. Yes, I am. I'm gonna be better at you than hockey. Yeah, you might be good at basketball, but I'm way better than you at hockey. I'm good at all sports. You should know this by now. Come on. Okay, well, then we can't be on the same teams because I'm gonna show you how better I am than you. Well, I want Jeffy on my team. Yay! I finally didn't get picked last. Okay, Cody, you're on my team. Okay, yeah, let's play some hockey, buddy. Are you gonna be good? No, I'm terrible at sports. Oh, please don't suck. I'll try. Okay, you two. I want a very dirty and unfair game, okay? I want there to be a lot of fighting. I want there to be more fighting than there is hockey, got it? Oh, I'm gonna beat you up, Joseph. Oh, I'm gonna beat you up, dude! Okay, your team's ready? Cody, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Jeffy, are you ready, dude? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, first of four wins. Play hockey. <laughs> oh, no, it's coming towards me! Oh, I blew it. That's what I'm talking about, bro! That's what I'm talking about! Where's the defense? Where's the defense? You trash! Get off my eyes, bitch! Cody, what was that? I'm sorry, Junior. It just came at me so fast. I didn't want it to knock my teeth out. You can't knock your teeth out. You're wearing a face mask, Cody. Well, look, I'm good at things coming on me, but not coming at me. Do not let another puck score all night, okay? Okay. <sighs> <sighs> my puck, bitch! <sighs> Suck this, Cody! <sighs> Block it, Cody! Okay. Ow! <sighs> Where you at, Cody? Where you at? Let us know, let us know, let us know, ho! <laughs> Joseph, why are you so good at hockey? Cody, what was that? Ugh, oh, Junior, Joseph's cracked, dude. I think we should just forfeit. No, we're only down two. We can come back. What, do you know how hard it is to score points in hockey? Look, we're gonna come back. Just, just block every puck. <sighs> Where you going, punk? <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> Shuck it, Junior. What? That's not fair. You're on the side of the whole goal. Way to go, Jeffy. Nice save. Nice save. Thanks, Joseph. Joseph, this isn't fair. His body's the size of the goal. I don't care. You chose your teammate. Now let's play all. <sighs> oh, Junior, your name must be Alice. I'm about to take your ass to Wonderland. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. I got to charge up for this one. Kame. Hame. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. 
My last name's Gretzky, Joseph Gretzky. Don't forget it, punk. Cody, why didn't you block it? Junior, it was going so fast. It was like the speed of light. That was impossible. Come on, Cody, you're the goalie. Your job is to block it. I, I couldn't do that, Junior. All right, Cody, we're down 3-0. We're never going to come back. Yeah, I know. I've been telling you this. There's only one way we can come back, and that's I need you to go distract Jeffy so the goal is at least a little bit open, and then I can shoot a few shots, and then maybe we can come back. But then our goal's going to be open. It's already wide open all the time because you're not doing anything, Cody. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll distract Jeffy. Come on. Oh, man, how am I going to get around Joseph? Oh, there's no way you're going to score on me, punk. Uh, Joseph, look at the crowd. A family wanting to adopt a black kid. <gasps> where, where? <laughs> hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Being a goalie, my job's easy as shit. All I gotta do is lay here. Oh, well, there's snow cones over there. Snow cones? Really? Yeah, follow me. <laughs> oh, damn it! Cody, you didn't get to remove his helmet! <sighs> no way, dude, you can't kick the puck in. That's a penalty! No, that's a point, because your guy left his helmet, and that's a penalty. You know what? We're gonna give it to you. We'll give it to you. Three to one? You're not coming back! Oh, we're gonna come back! Hey, what can I get you? Can I get a snow cone? He said there's snow cones here. Uh, no, this is hot spot barbecue. We don't do anything cold. You lied to me! Jeffy, dude, what happened? Cody told me there were snow cones. I, I thought there were snow cones. So you're trying to distract my goalie, huh? But yeah. Oh, yo, yeah. ooh, do it one more time. I'm gonna beat your ass, I promise. All right, Cody, we got a point. What, we did? Yeah, we're only down by two, so this is what I need you to do. I need you to go beat up Jeffy and knock him out, and then I'll knock out Joseph, and then we can get another point, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, fighting's okay. We, you're allowed to fight in hockey, so go do it. Um. Oh, not cool, bro. Lying about a family that wanted me. Got my hopes up and shit. Well, I'm sorry about that, Joseph, but wait, they let butterflies in here? Oh, butterflies! <laughs> <laughs> uh, how am I gonna do this? Um. Okay, this isn't working. Uh, hey, Jeffy? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got a goal! Yeah. Oh, dang it! Jeffy, what are you doing, bro? You're letting him score! He distracted me! Oh, look, I'm gonna be the goalie, okay? You go out there and just beat him up. All you gotta do is beat him up, they're gonna fold. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, Cody, we're only down by one point. If we get the puck back, we can tie it. So make sure you block every shot. Uh, but Junior, I suck. I suck wieners. Wieners, Junior, wieners! Oh, wait, listen. How about I be the goalie and you go try to stop Jeffy? Junior, do you not understand that I suck wieners? Uh, listen, look, I'm gonna be the goalie. Just try to get the puck back and we both can try to score, okay? Okay. <sighs> Uh, hey, you, you give me that puck. That's what I'm talking about, Jeffy! That's what I'm talking about! Put his ass on the ground! Oh, Jesus Christ, I have to stop him. Come on, Junior, you can stop him! That's game! Jeffy and the kid in the green wins. Woo! We win! You suck! Woo! 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 Good game, bro. For people who suck! We don't suck, you guys cheated! How did we cheat? Because you beat us up! No, we play like real men! You know, Junior, we tried to cheat too. But you guys suck so bad, we'd beat you if we played again because you no, suck we'll so much. Do it right no, now. You suck. Suck. Bring it on! Bring it on! Ah, Oh, I'm in so much pain. My face hurts so bad. Sorry we lost, Junior, but we were making one hell of a comeback. Oh, Cody, broken bones are temporary. That loss is gonna last forever. Yeah, I know, but we still need three more minutes, Junior. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How are we gonna milk time? Oh, I feel a song coming on. I'm bad at hockey. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm in so much fucking pain. At least I didn't injure my brain. No, I didn't, because I'm bad at hockey. Kazoo solo. Okay, I need you to put a kazoo in my mouth. Uh, let me look for one. Uh, okay. Yeah. You Hold on. It was, it's backwards. I, it'll still work, it's just not as... Junior, this is a shit show. Open your mouth. I'm trying. My jaw is wired shut. <laughs> you know what? This isn't gonna work. You're right. Oh no, Junior! I just remembered the school dances tonight, and I promised to take Jenny Wobbledees and help her stand. What? The school dances tonight? Yeah! What, what's Jenny Wobbledees gonna do? You can't take her to the dance like this. I don't know, Junior. Whoa! Hey, Cody, are you ready to take me to the dance tonight? Why is she walking like that, Cody? Junior, you know she has legs like a newborn baby deer. Sorry, Jenny Wobbledees. I, I can't take you to the dance. I got injured playing hockey. Well, who's gonna hold me up at the dance tonight so I don't fall over? 
I guess you're just gonna have to get crutches or a cane. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh, I feel so bad. It looks like she's always dancing, though. What time we at, Junior? Uh, I think we need, like, another another minute. Oh, no, Junior! We forgot to sell all of this tuna fish for Tuna Fish Terry. Oh, yeah! Tuna Fish Terry! We're supposed to go door-to-door -door and sell all of his tuna fish! Yeah, for his campaign for mayor. Yeah, oh, he's gonna be so mad because we forgot to sell it because we were too busy trying to play hockey. Oh, Tuna Fish Terry's gonna be so mad. Hey, you boys sell my tuna fish yet! Yeah. Oh, no! Sorry, Tuna Fish Terry! We didn't sell all your tuna! Were you I'm sorry, we decided to play hockey instead and we got injured. You playing that damn hockey sport? I told you to my tuna fish I run mayor. I'm so sorry, I guess you're not gonna be a mayor, tuna fish Terry. Oh, damn it, you don't tell me you ain't got my tuna fish. <laughs> we tried selling it. I now I'll take my goddamn tuna fish. You, you supposed to sell my tuna fish. Not, not stuck with all these tuna fish, I can't eat all this. Wait, Joseph hasn't bragged about winning yet. This would be a good time for that. What's that, losers? How's the injuries? And how does it feel to lose to a god? We're in so much pain. Yeah, but what hurts worse is I was supposed to take Jenny Wobbleknees to the school dance, and we didn't sell all that tuna fish for Tuna Fish Terry. Oh, man, I forgot about that. How could I forget? And now Tuna Fish Terry's not going to win school mayor. But, but, dude, the prince of Dubai was supposed to come by and buy the tuna fish. I'm right there to buy the tuna fish. Ah, oh, damn it. If only Tuna Fish Terry had come a few minutes later. Oh, man. What are we going to do? Yeah. I was promised tuna fish up to my ears and I don't see tuna fish. My camels only eat the tuna fish. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince of Dubai. We don't have your tuna. Tuna Fish Terry already took it. And we don't have the number for Tuna Fish Terry. Damn it. You are always doing this to me. Oh, now we pissed off the Prince of Dubai, we made his camel starve, oh. Jenny Wobbleknees is falling at the dance, Jeez. and Tuna Fish Terry's not winning mayor. But at least I would come in and tell you one more time, you don't tell Tuna Fish. <laughs> what the Prince of Dubai was just here, damn it! You missed the Prince of Dubai, he was just here. You Why are you eating out your Prince of Dubai? I don't know where we got that Tuna Fish, ain't nobody going to get that Tuna Fish. I, what? <laughs> Oh my Christ, today's gonna be a wrong, boring day. We're gonna be learning about numerical analysis. So we're gonna spend all day breaking down this really long equation until you guys understand it. So step one is right here. Um, teacher, can me and Heidi leave class to go to cheer practice? We have a competition coming up. Yes, Penelope, you two can go. But the rest of the class, you gotta stay here and do this boring shit. Come on, Heidi. <laughs> Hey, they get to leave class and go do cheerleading? Cheerleading's not even a sport. All they do is just shake pom-poms. Hey, guys, you want to lie and say we have to go to cheer practice, too? Yeah, dude, let's do it. What? No, guys, I want to stay here and learn about numerical analysis. I put the anal in analysis. Come on, Cody, you have to go with us. Uh, teacher, can me, Joseph, and Cody go to cheer practice, too? Are you three really a part of the cheer team? Yeah, we're a part of the cheer team. Guys, follow my lead. Give me an F. F. Give me an A. A. Give me a T. T. What's Cody's mom? F. Fat, uh, fat, 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 woo! You get it, Cody? She's fat? Yeah, I get it. Oh, that's pretty good. You must be part of the cheer team. You can go. Guys, it works! Okay, let's go to cheer practice. No, dude, I'm going home. I'm not cheering like no damn girl. Well, come on, Cody, let's go make fun of the girls at cheer practice. Okay. Come on, Heidi, let's practice our cheer routine. Oh, no, they're having seizures. Cody, call the nurse. What are you doing here, Junior? Go back to class. We want to see what cheer practice look like. Mind your own business. Go away. But me and Cody want to join the cheer team. You can't, Junior. You're boys. Ooh, Cody. Somebody doesn't know what year it is. It's 2022, Penelope. Boys can join girls' sports. Just go away, Junior. I want to join the team so you can stand on my shoulders and I can look up. No, Junior. It's duos. It's two girls. One cup. Remember that, Cody? Where they pooped in the cup? Yeah, I've seen it. Is it real? I don't think so. Well, anyway, speaking of two girls, how about a little girl-on-girl -girl action, right, Cody? I'm gay. Ew, Junior, go away! Well, well, come on, Penelope! Okay, how about me and Cody, we start our own cheer team, and we, we go out against your team. Ha, I'd like to see you try. Come on, show me one cheer. All right, Cody, like we did in the classroom. Give me an F! No. What, why not? I'm not going to fall for that again, Junior. Wow, you guys are really good. I'm scared now. Well, we have to work on our team chemistry. Look, look we're going to go home and practice and then we're gonna cheer circles on you bitches. <laughs> okay. All right, Cody, are you ready for this cheer competition? Junior, I really like these outfits you got us, and as long as you don't wear underwear and stand on my shoulders, I'm down for whatever. I think we're gonna win, right, Cody? Uh, no, I think we're absolutely gonna get destroyed, but hey, I'm along for the ride. Cody, it can't be that hard to cheer. All they did was this. 
Well, yeah, I guess that is basically what they were doing. Yeah, so we're naturals at it. We're gonna win. We don't even have to practice. Well, I think we should still practice. No, no, no. We shouldn't practice. We should spend all our time and energy trying to get them disqualified because if we have no competition, we're gonna win. Well, I guess that's true, but how would we get them disqualified? By this. Steroids. Wh where the hell did you get steroids? There was some creepy clown that gave it to me. But look, if we give these steroids to the girls, then they'll get disqualified because we'll tell the cheerleading committee that we think they're on roids and they'll get tested and then they will be banned and then we will win. But Junior, how are we even going to give them the steroids? You leave that up to me. No, 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 Heidi. It's twist, twist, jump, hair, toss, twist. I'm sorry. Ugh, we're going to lose. Hey, ladies. Junior, what are you wearing? Oh, these are just our cheer outfits. Jealous much? Yeah, Cody, your hair does look pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Junior, why are you holding a needle? Oh, well, the flu's going around, so I just want to make sure you girls got your flu shot. Yeah, I did. Well, what, what, what strand was it? Was it flu A? Um, I think so. Well, this one's flu B, and flu B's going on really bad, so you should get this shot. No, thank you. I don't have my flu shot. Oh, then you need this. Ow. Junior, what the hell is wrong with you? Look, I just protected her from the flu by giving her the flu, so take that. But that's not how it works. Oh, come, come on, come on, Cody, let's get out of here. All right, well, I got your anonymous tip about that girl using steroids, so I tested her. And she's disqualified? No, we didn't find any steroids in her system, but she did test positive for HIV. Very sad. Junior, where the hell did you get that needle? <laughs> Billy, you told me that was a steroids needle. I thought. <laughs> well, great, Junior. Now we ruined a girl's life because of an elementary school cheer competition. We've got to think of another way to get them disqualified. Junior, I think we should just give up on getting them disqualified. Well, do you think that girl, now that she has HIV, do you think she's going to feel good enough to cheer? Well, yeah, probably. Well, we have to find a way to make the girls so sick that they back out of the cheering competition. Well, how are we going to do that, Junior? By putting laxatives in their drink, and then they start pooping everywhere, and they're like, I can't cheer in front of everyone if I'm going to poop everywhere. Junior, I don't think they're going to trust any drink we give them after we gave that girl HIV. Listen, I'll get them to drink the drink. Here, go get me a glass so I can pour Miralax in it. <laughs> hey, ladies. Not now, Junior. Heidi randomly got blood tested and found out some really sad news. It's okay. Jesus. Uh, well, you know what would make you girls feel better? Some ginger ale. No, Junior. Oh, come on. It's ginger ale. I'll have some. No, Heidi. But I'm thirsty. Oh, that's right. Drink up that ginger ale. How's it making you feel? No! I gotta go to the bathroom! See, Cody, I told you! Told him what? Uh, did, did just that you guys would want some ginger ale? Yeah, me and Cody had a bet going on. I bet him $10 that bitches love ginger ale. What did you do to the ginger ale, Junior? I put laxatives in it, so when you girls drink it up, you'd be pooping all night and you wouldn't be able to dance in the competition tonight. The competition's tomorrow! Junior! What? Oh, great, Junior. Not only do we give her HIV, now she's gonna be in the toilet all night. What? Uh, uh, go, uh let's go. Uh, uh, Junior, I think I'm dropping out of our cheer team. Why? Well, because we've done so much harm to this innocent girl, and I feel really bad. Don't feel bad, Cody. Let's win for her. We'll win in her honor. Wait, wait shouldn't we let her win? Well, no! She's on a cheer team for a reason. She loves competition. If we just drop out and let her win, she'll feel bad. Well, I think she's gonna feel bad now that she has HIV and diarrhea. Come on, Cody. Listen, if I promise no more guerrilla warfare, will you stay on the team? Yeah, I guess that's what I'd call that. Okay, I promise no more physical harm to the other team. What? Wait, what kind of harm are we going to do? We're going to do other kinds of harm, because i got other ways to get them disqualified. Ugh, Junior, come on. No, listen, it's not going to harm them physically. No more pain, okay? <sighs> so this is what we're going to do. There's going to be judges at this competition, right? Yeah. And judges will not vote for racists. Yeah. So if we can get on video Penelope and her friend to say the N-word, then the judges will not vote for some racist, and then we will have the advantage. Junior, why would they ever say that? Just leave that up to me. No, no, because every time you say that, something terrible happens. I'm gonna get him to say it. Just follow my lead. <sighs> okay, Cody, are you recording? Yeah. Hey, ladies. Go away, Junior! I'm just here to apologize. Are you? Heidi, I'm sorry for giving you HIV and diarrhea. It's okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna cut that out of the video. It's not okay, Junior! Listen, Penelope, I have one question for you. If you answer this one question, me and Cody will drop out of the cheer competition and you'll never hear from us ever again. Ever again? I swear. Fine, ask your question. Okay, so Jay-Z has this song called Blanks in Paris. I know this one! Shut up, Heidi! What is the name of this song? I'm not saying the name of the song, Junior. I I just can't remember what it's called. It's blanks in Paris. Is it friends in Paris? 
buddies in Paris. What's that word, Penelope? I'm not saying the first word of that song, Junior. Why not? Well, what is it? I'm not going to say it. Well, well what is it? I mean, I, I just want you to say it one time and then I'll leave you alone forever. If you say it first, then I'll say it. Wait, if I say it first, you'll say it? Yes, Junior. You say it first and then I'll say it. Oh, that's easy. Nick Junior, I can't believe you actually said it. I thought if I said it, she would say it. You thought she was actually going to say it? We made a deal. No. <sighs> she pulled a fast one on me. No, she didn't pull a fast one. You're just an idiot. You deleted that video of me saying it, right? Yeah, sure. Because I don't want to get canceled. Right, of course. Then I have to make an apology video. So look, we have to find a way to get them disqualified. Junior, if we spent this time actually practicing, we might actually have a chance for beating them for real. We have no time to practice now, Cody. Our only hope is to get them disqualified. So let me think. Okay, what's your next idea? <gasps> I got an idea. If we get Penelope grounded, then her dad won't let her cheer in the competition because she'll be grounded. Okay, how are we going to get her grounded? You leave that up to me. No, no, I don't like it when you say that. Her dad's a doctor, right? Yeah. I'm going to call him up. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, Penelope. What are you doing here? I thought you were at cheerleading practice. No, I decided not to be a cheerleader. I want to be a certified thought instead. Come here, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I like this, Junior. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, I mean, you are getting older, so I guess it's about time this sort of thing happened. What? No, I'm dating boys. Aren't you mad? No, I mean, you're just getting to be that age. What? Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to go vandalize cars outside. Oh, well, just don't get mine. It's not insured. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to be homeless my whole life and do smack. Wow. Well, I mean, I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. I mean, as your parent, I wanted better for you. I mean, I'm a doctor. So... You're a shitty doctor. Oh, okay. Bitch-ass, dumb-ass, bitch-doctor, bitch. Okay, that, that actually hurt really bad. I, I try really hard. I just... You know, I, I try to be the best doctor I can. You're not even a good doctor. You're not even a good father. You're horrible at it. You're bad. I hate you. You know what? You know what? I think I deserve that. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been a very good father to you, Penelope. And I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm coming to your cheerleading competition tomorrow night to support you. I need to be a better father. You're right. What? Wow, Junior. I, I think you actually improved her relationship with her dad. I wanted her to get grounded. This sucks. Yeah, well, the opposite of that happened. Okay, you know what? We have to go to the extremest of the most extremes. You know what? We're going to go break their kneecaps. But what? Yeah, we're going to grab a bat and we're going to Tanya Harding them. We're going to break their kneecaps so they can't dance. But, Junior, you said no physical violence. Oh, screw that. I'm going to the most physical violence I could possibly go. Come on. Hello and welcome to the elementary school cheerleading competition. We have two teams competing today, so let's introduce them. First up, we have the Powder Puff Cheerleading Squad. And oh no, here comes the boys. We have the Rowdy Rough Cheerleading Gang. First up to perform, the Rowdy Rough Boys! Oh no, Junior, we're going first! Oh, I wanted them to go first so we can break their kneecaps! Oh, Junior, we didn't practice! Look, we just have to go out there and do the best we can, come on! <sighs> okay, Cody, you ready? No. Just improv it. One, two, three! Give me a O! O! Give me a B! B! Give me an E! E! Give me an S! S! Give me an E! E! Obese! Your mom! Okay! So I'm the judge, and I rate that a C! You hear that, Cody? We got a C! So when the girls go on the stage, we break their kneecaps and we win! But Junior, I think we should just be happy with our C. We might possibly win! No! I'm breaking their kneecaps! All right, next up is the Powder Puff Girls. All right, Heidi, they got a C. That's really easy to beat. I know we got this. Okay. Come on. All right, Heidi, like we practice. One, two, three. The Rowdy Rough Boys are disqualified for trying to break the Powder Puff Girls' kneecaps. The Powder Puff Girls win! We won, Heidi! We won! Yay. Well, you guys won fair and square. Get out of here, Junior! Damn, who pissed in her panties? Junior, you ruined everything. We still could have won. We had a flip in ours, and they didn't. Hey, Heidi? Yeah? Well, it turns out I got your blood test wrong. You don't actually have HIV. Yay! Yeah, hey, and Penelope, congratulations on winning the championship. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Dad. I didn't know you showed up. Well, yeah, of course I did. After what you said to me earlier, I decided I really need to be a better father. You know what? Let's all go to Chuck E. Cheese! Okay! Come on, Heidi, you too. It's wheelchair accessible. Okay! 
Well, Junior, looks like you actually did do some good. You, you helped Penelope with her father. Well... I just wanted to win! You saw how bad I wanted to win! I was willing to kill to win! I was willing to destroy everyone to win! They left the trophy behind, Cody! They left the trophy! That means we won! Whoever has the trophy won, right? No, Junior, stealing the trophy doesn't mean you won. We won! <sighs> Celebrate! Uh, I hate school. What? Cody, what happened to your glasses? Dude, you look like a freak! Oh yeah, I got LASIK, so I don't need glasses anymore. What's LASIK? Well, it's when they shoot lasers in your eyes to correct your vision. But I don't need glasses now, so now you guys can't call me four eyes. Well, we can still call you a bug-eyed freak. Yeah, googly eyes! Well, yeah, I guess you could call me that, but you guys are just jealous of my 2020 vision. You can only afford 2020 vision? You're so poor! You bought two-year-old vision? <laughs> why, why didn't you buy 2022 vision? Yeah, get with the times, dude! But no, it's not the year, it's how good the vision is. 2020 was a bad year, Cody. That's when the pandemic started. You have sick eyes? Yeah, get away from me, dude! Yeah, I don't want to catch your sick eyes. Okay, whatever. You guys see how dark it is because daylight savings time ended? Yeah, I hate when it's dark. Whoa, dude, watch your mouth! What's wrong with you? Yeah, Cody, what's wrong with dark? Well, I just meant I hate when it gets dark outside. What, you got a problem with dark people? Is that what it is, huh? But no, I didn't say that. Well, Cody, you got those new eyes, but you're still racist. <laughs> Let's not do this again. I thought you could see better. All right, class. Today we're going to be learning how fast is the speed of light. It's too fast. See that little tiny red dot? It traveled at 186,000 miles per second, or 11,160,000 miles per minute, or 669,600,000 miles per hour. That little tiny red dot. Fast as fuck! Whoa, that's so fast! Cody, that's how fast your mom would run to the buffet if she wasn't so fat. Oh, dude, she could still run that fast, regardless of her weight. Yeah, your mom's the fastest land elephant. What land elephant? Is there any other kind of elephant? Well, Dumbo could fly. He was an air elephant. But Dumbo's not real. I'm looking at him right now with those big-ass ears. <laughs> Um, teacher, may I play with your laser device? No, Jeffy. The laser pointer is a very dangerous device. If you point it at someone's eye, it can make them go blind. So no, you can't play with it. Uh, it's not fair. I want to play with it. All right, Crass. This daylight saving thing is really screwing me up right now. So you guys can go home. Class is over. And I'm going to be putting the laser pointer right here. Okay? Right here. No one touch it. And I'm gonna go home and go to bed because it's dark outside. So I won't be here to see if anyone touches the laser pointer that's right here, okay? See the laser pointer, everyone? Right here? Right here. It's gonna be right here, so no one touch it. I'm gonna go home, okay? It's right here. Man, we really shouldn't touch that laser pointer. Yeah, let's go home. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that thing. guys, what do you want to do today since school let out early? Well, it doesn't feel early in the day since it's so d- uh... Say it, dude! Say it, I dare you! Uh, nighttime outside. Hmm, nice save. Hey, guys! Look where I'm going! Uh -huh. Hey! hey, hey. That, uh, the teacher said don't touch his laser pointer! Well, I touched it, and I took it! But, 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 but the teacher said not to touch it! Erp -de -erp -de. Yeah, Cody's right! The teacher's gonna get mad that you touched it! Well, I just want to play with it for the night! Yeah, I guess we could play with it for a little while. But the teacher said not to touch it! Shut up, Cody. We want to play with it for a little bit. Well, what are we even going to do with the laser, Junior? Um, I got an idea. I got it. Ow, oh, Jesus, my eyes! Ow. I told Jeffy to do that. Uh, why would you tell him that? Because you bought laser... Liza, la, fuck. LASIK eye surgery, and you liked it, so I thought you might want it again. Well, that was a professional laser for fixing vision. Yeah, so I thought we could fix your vision by shining a laser in your eye again. Well, no, that's not how it... Ow, oh, Jesus, my other eye! Oh, okay, God. so look, now you have 2022 20, vision. Junior, you're damaging my eyes. I can't even see now. Oh, you can see. How many fingers can I hold up? I, I can't really tell. Ow, oh, Jesus! Ah, did you see me doing that? Uh, I felt it. Uh, hey, Jeffy, shoot me in the eye. Let me see how bad it hurts. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Well, okay, it does hurt. Yeah, it, it sucks. It, it does actually hurt. Wait, what's going on, dude? Ow, dude! Ow! <laughs> Okay, call a doctor! <laughs> Hey there, somebody call an optometrist, and we gotta make this quick, because I gotta go fly a plane in a few minutes, because I'm delivering a whole bunch of donor organs to a hospital, so today I am a doctor slash pilot. So what's going on? Our friend shined a laser in our eyes, and we can't see. Okay, well that's dangerous, but I don't really have time to diagnose you with anything, so I'm just gonna give you all glasses. Glasses? Yeah, I'll go get them from my bag. Alright, there's your glasses. Now I got a plane to fly. Wow, Cody, now we all look like you. Well, it's your fault for shining a laser in your eyes. Beep, 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 beep. Nice Cody impression, dude. Thanks, Joe. I've been working on it. You know, I, I was really trying to capture his voice, but I think I got it. I see. You've been practicing. Uh-huh. I'm really good at it now.
Where's Jeffy? Jeffy! Hey guys, look what I found with the laser! It's a giga! Me, 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 I mean, a kitty cat. Guys, I'm allergic to cats. Achoo! Achoo! Well, Cody, don't sneeze on me. You're getting all your germs on me. I already caught your bad eyes. I don't want to catch anything else. Well, guys, can we just get away from this cat? Oh, Jeffy, can we return the laser pointer back at school? Because we already hurt ourselves with it. Okay. You guys want to walk with me? Yeah, let's, let's walk with him to school. Walk it like a tuck it. Okay, guys, let's walk to school and return the laser. God, it's so nighttime out here. Oh, what's wrong with it being nighttime? You can't see me when it's dark? Do I blend into you? No, no, I just think we need a flashlight. I got a light. That little laser's not gonna help us see. Guys, look, it's a full moon. <laughs> you wanna see a full moon? I'll pull down my pants. Oh, oh there's an airplane. Oh, Jeffy, you should see if you can hit the airplane with the laser. Okay. Are you hitting it? I don't know. Man, what a beautiful night for flying. Just look at that moon. What a big moon. I wonder if it's really made of cheese. Huh. Ow, ow, Jesus, my eye! My eye, I can't see! Mayday, mayday, I'm going down! Oh, uh, guys, is that plane going down? Maybe it's just landing. Yeah, it's just landing. It crashed! It totally crashed! Ah! Ah! Guys, did we make that plane crash? No, Jeffy made that plane crash by shining a laser at the plane. He probably blinded the pilot. Guys, there's no way this laser blinded the pilot. It couldn't even reach that far. Yeah, there's no way this cheap little laser could reach that far, Cody. The plane probably didn't even crash. We heard the explosion. What if that was a car crash on the interstate? That exploded? Yeah, what if a car hit a semi-truck carrying gasoline? Junior, we saw the plane going down. Well, maybe it was a meteor with flashing lights on it. No, Junior, that plane definitely crashed. Well, listen, it didn't crash until we have proof. What, what's wrong, Cody? The news. What? The news! Look! Breaking news, okay? A plane has reportedly crashed after a pilot was blinded by a laser pointer. If you have any details on who could have done it, call 911 immediately. Ah! Guys, we did make the plane crash! Damn it, I spilled my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Dude, I'm out of here! You know they always blame the dark guy? No, Jesse, get back here! Oh, guys, what are we gonna do? We? We don't have to do anything. Jeffy's the one that shined the laser, and you're the one who told him to do it. I didn't have anything to do with any of this. Jeffy, can I see that? What, what you your fingerprints, your fingerprints, aha! Uh -huh. Junior, why would you do that? Because we're all in this together, from the top. We're, we're all in no, this no, together! No no, 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 high school musical bullshit, guys. We committed a serious crime. You should be singing, we all committed a felony. Yes, we did. That's what you should be singing. Cody, now is not the time to be singing a song. Wait, what? Well, listen, there's some serious stuff going on right now. Okay, we have to get rid of that laser pointer. I can hide it up my stinky rectal hole. <laughs> Yummy! Okay, so look, now that we hit the laser, no one's gonna check up Jeffy's butt. So look, no one's gonna come looking for us, because no one's gonna know where that laser came from. They're not gonna know it came from this house. Yeah, I guess you're right. They won't know where it is. Let's just sit back and eat some of your french fries. Eat! Junior was at the doorbell. No, that was the smoke detector. Uh, that was, that was the neighbor's doorbell. Uh... Junior, eventually you're gonna have to answer the door. Okay, look, I'm gonna go answer it. If it's the cops, we're gonna hide. Just keep that thing up your butt. Hello? Hey, did you just hear that explosion? That was me. I was just in a plane crash. Oh, uh, how'd you get in a plane crash? I don't know, I was just flying and then all of a sudden a laser came out of nowhere and hit me right in the eye. And I got all confused and I got up and down messed up and then like I just crashed right into the ground. Luckily I parachuted out at the last minute but I still banged my face up pretty bad on some trees. Well, I, I'm so sorry about that. It wasn't my fault. Well, of course not. How would it be your fault? Uh, hey, can I come in and use your phone? I gotta call just just everybody. The FAA. I gotta call Sully and ask him how we got out of it. I gotta call Tom Hanks and see if he'll make a movie out of this one. I mean, I didn't land on the Hudson, but I mean, that explosion was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you, you can use my phone. Okay. Okay, so where's his phone? Junior, is that the pilot? Yeah, he was the one that was flying the plane that crashed. Junior, he can't be here. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, shut up, Jeffy. Uh, sorry, sir. We just realized that we don't have a phone. What? You don't have a phone? Kid, this isn't funny. I was just in a plane crash. I gotta call some people. Yeah, sorry, but you gotta go. You gotta leave. Wait, wait a minute. Aren't you the kids from earlier that were shining lasers in your eyes? Yes. Junior. Uh, but we don't have the laser anymore. Yeah, because you did my ass. Well, uh, we don't know where it's at. Did, did you kids shine a laser in my eyes while I was trying to fly a plane? No, no, no. The only thing we shined the laser at was our eyes and maybe a helicopter, but not your plane. So, yeah, no, it's, our teacher has a, has a laser pointer on his desk at school, and he pointed at things, maybe airplanes. Huh, I think I need to talk to your teacher. Junior, you're going to get the teacher in trouble. Better him than us. All right, guys, we have to go back to the school and put the laser pointer on the desk. 
Okay, Jeffy, take the laser pointer out and put it on the desk. Who wants to go spurlunking in some cheeks? No, I do, I do. I'm a professional. Okay. I don't want to watch this. Mmm, <sighs> butt nectar. Let's just put it on the desk, come on. Okay. Let's go. Okay, guys, we did it. Yeah, I guess we got off scot-free. Who's Scott? What? You just said you got off a guy named Scott for free. No, 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 no. Scott free, it's a saying. What's it mean? Well, I don't know. Who's Scott? Well, there is no Scott, it's just a thing people say. Then why are you saying something if you don't know what it means? Well, I, I don't know, it's just like a common saying. What if I just said random words that didn't make sense, like ants, beehive, bear, tree? Well, that, that wouldn't make sense. Yes, yeah, so then there's no point in saying it, so shut up. Okay, fine. So why did you call me here? Well, word on the street is you have a laser pointer. I do, it's right here. <laughs> Rookie mistake, showing me the evidence. You have been shining that laser pointer at any planes? No, I've been shining it at the board to teach my students how fast the speed of light is. Well, have you been showing them the speed of light by shining that laser pointer at my plane? No. Huh, likely story. Maybe I should just check this out for myself. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, why does it smell like dookie? I have no idea. Huh. Hmm, let me think about this. Hmm. Aha! I have an idea. I think you shine this laser pointer at my plane, and then when the plane crashed, you got scared and tried to hide it up your butt. But then that got uncomfortable, so you took it out of your butt and you put it on your desk. No. Ha! Liar! Alright, you're coming with me! So, guys, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? Well, I guess I'm just gonna go... Oh my god, the news! Breaking news, okay? An elementary school teacher has been arrested as the person who pointed the laser pointer at a plane, causing it to crash. He'll be going to jail for a very long time. Wow, Junior, the teacher's getting in trouble now because of something we did. We have to say something. Something. No. <laughs> Junior, this is serious. We just ruined his life. Okay, listen, Cody. If we speak up, we have to go to prison. You want that? Well, I think I could take it better than anyone else. Really? You know, in the butt. Uh, listen, I'm not saying anything. I'm going to sit right here. Okay, well, I don't want to be a part of this, so I'm going home. What? Jeffy, can you believe him? He really wants us to go tell the truth and tell the cop that we were the ones that shined the laser pointer and made his plane crash. What? Wow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. W what's going on? Well, I just came here to give you the triple T, the truth teller trophy, because you told the truth about your teacher having the laser pointer that shot down my plane, but now I don't know if I should give you this trophy. It sounds to me like you're a fibber. Oh, no, no, I'm not a fibber. I'm, I was telling the truth. Like, I, like, I promise I'm not lying. Well, I can't give you the trophy until you tell me the truth. Okay, okay, listen, okay, listen. We did take the teacher's laser pointer and we shot it at your plane on accident. So can I have the trophy? Hmm. There's another very important question and I need answered. So whoever can tell me the truth will get the trophy. Now the question is, if you guys are the ones who stole the laser pointer, why did it smell like shit? Because it was in my ass. Oh my god, ew, 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 So guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, we should play cops and robbers! That would be so fun! Yeah, we could tie Ken up as a hostage and spank him. We're playing cops and robbers, Cody. Yeah, we're not doing that. No one's getting spanked. You guys take the fun out of everything. I want to be a robber. Me too. I guess I'll be a cop. I totally thought you want to be a robber, Joseph. Why? Is it because I'm black, huh? I can't be a good guy like a cop? Oh, no, no. I just thought you wanted to be a robber since you, you like to steal things. Yeah, you know. You know I like to be bad. I'll be a bad guy. But it's not because I'm black. Okay, so now we need someone to be the cop. Cody, you got to be the cop. Wait, no, I want to be a robber so I can tie him up and spank him. We all can't be robbers, Cody. You have to be the cop. But what reason would a cop possibly have to spank someone? Well, maybe you're interrogating Ken because you think he's a robber, so you spank him to get answers out of him. No, that would be a total abuse of my power. I'd get fired. It works much better if I'm a robber. Okay, so for all robbers, then who's going to be the cop? Uh, you could ask Chef Beebe to be a cop. He'd love to play. Yeah. Chef Beebe! Oh, what do you want, Junior? We're playing cops and robbers. We need you to be the cop. I'm not going to be a cop for this stupid game. Bye. Okay, so Chef Beebe is the cop. But he, he just said he wasn't playing. He's totally just joking around. He's totally going to be the cop. He's going to go put uniform on right now. Okay. Okay, so uh, Cody, me, Joseph, and Jeffy are going to be the robbers, and we need you to be the hostage. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was a robber. No, you and Ken gotta be hostages. You wanna get spanked, right? Yes, very much. Okay, so you're gonna be the teller at the bank, and we're gonna come rob you, and we're gonna kidnap you and Ken as a hostage, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, let's go be robbers, guys! All right, guys, we're gonna bust into this bank, put a gun to the teller's head, and say, bitch, put all the money in the bag or you're gonna die today. Yeah, and then put a bullet straight between their eyes. <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not killing anyone, Joseph. No, 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 we have to kill a hostage just to show them we're not playing. Well, no, 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 we're gonna grab two hostages and we're not gonna kill them unless we have to. You know, it's just cops and robbers, not cops and murderers. But why is the gun loaded, huh, if we're not gonna hurt anybody? Just in case we have to, in case the cops come. Listen, Joseph, we're not- I, I really think we should hurt somebody. We're, we're, we're not hurting anyone. Listen, listen, I'm gonna bust the door down. We're gonna rob this bank, okay? Okay. Ow! Damn. What's this door made out of? Cardboard. I hurt my shoulder. Okay, we're gonna bust that gun. 
I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't matter how much you flex your muscles at me. It's bank policy. No shirt, no service. Everyone on the ground, there's a stick up! Oh my god, a robbery! I'm calling the cops! That bitch! What? Ken, no! You were only supposed to spank him! Why'd you kill him, Joseph? Dude, he was asking for it! And we gotta show him we're not playing! We ain't playing! 911, what's your emergency? Put the gas in the bag right now, bitch! And no funny business, no die packs, no silent alarms, or you will get a bullet in your head. You got that? Yes, I understand. Oh my god, man, we're on our way. Yeah, put the cash in the bag right now! Right now! JG Wentworth, 877 cash now, ho! Okay. Go, go, put the money in the... Put, put the, go, hurry, hurry! Yeah, right now! You can have the money, just please don't spank me. Just spank him, dude. <sighs> Oh no, don't spank me. Oh no. I'm not I'm not doing it anymore. Oh come on, one more. Oh the alarm's going on! You pulled the alarm! I told you don't do it, man! Oh, don't, don't kill her, don't kill her! She's on last class! Okay, we're gonna take her with us. Okay, Joseph, you grab the money, I'm gonna grab the hostage. Oh, I got the you come with us, you come with us! Yeah. Let's go, let's go before the cops get here! Dude, look at all this cash! We're gonna be rich! You better not scream or say a single word. Ooh, don't shoot me, daddy! Look, huh? Jeffy, make sure she doesn't talk. I got you, Junior. Say a word. Say a single word, and I'll blow your brains out, and you'll never see your family again. Jesus. Look, come on, Jeffy. We, we gotta go. Make my day, ho. All right, Jeffy, they're leaving. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sir. I just got a call. We got a code black. An armed robbery in progress. Did they take any hostages? Well, they killed one, and they took another one. Jesus. Officer Simmons! Yes, sir? Assemble the Avengers. I'm sorry, sir, but the Avengers aren't real. Damn. Well, at least get me Iron Man. He's dead, sir. Mm, I'm not caught up on the movies. Okay, look, you two are my only officer, so how are we gonna find these robbers? Well, I guess I could track the hostages' phone. Maybe we could find their hideout that way. Good. I want you to find these robbers and kill them. Kill them, sir? You don't want us just to arrest them? No, I don't want to waste taxpayer money on these bozos. I want them dead. I want their families dead. I want their house burned to the ground. Oh, oh okay, sir. What are you two still doing here? Get out, go! It's okay. Okay, we made it back to the house. Did the cops follow us? No, dude, no one followed us. We're safe. Let's start counting that cash, please! Yeah, let's count this cash! What do we do with the hostage? Oh, dude, we should kill her right now. No, 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 what if the cops come? We need a hostage. Dude, we're safe and sound. The cops aren't showing up here. Boys, boys, whatever you do, don't have your way with me. Yeah, shoot her right now, dude. Yeah, I'm a shooter. No, 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 l l listen, you already have so many charges, what's one more? And besides, if you guys go to prison, you'll never see a woman ever again, so. uh, Oh, my, oh my god, the cops are here! Dude, I'm not going to jail, I can't go down like this! Hey, not yet, we're busy! Oh, no, 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 okay, let's go to the cops, and let's tell them that we have a hostage. If they try anything funny, we'll blow our brains out! Okay, dude, let's uh, go, let's go, come on! We have the place surrounded. Come out with your hands up, or you will be shot! I thought the boss wanted us to kill him. I know, but I'm trying to get him out here so we can shoot him. We're not playing around! Come on out here! Man, Chef Peepee's really into his cop character. Yeah, dude. Uh, Junior, that doesn't sound like Chef Peepee's voice. It's Chef Peepee's cop voice. You never heard it before? Bro, he deserves an Oscar. Ooh, Joseph, you should go out there and shoot at Chef Peepee. Ooh, I like that idea. Wish me luck, dude! Alright, die, cop! Bye! Junior, did, did Joseph really just get shot? No, Cody, we're playing pretend cops and robbers. Sheffy doesn't really have a gun. That's that's clearly just sound effects he's using out loud. And he doesn't have a real gun. It's just Chef Pee Pee. You know, we're just playing a game, Cody. Man, Chef Pee Pee's going pretty hard. We killed your friend. Just come out now or you'll be dead too. Uh, Junior, I'm starting to think those are really cops and they really just shot Joseph. Cody, just because Chef Pee Pee's going extra hard for his role and you're not even trying, don't say anything. But not even trying, Junior. You're the one who didn't want to spank me or have your way with me. I'm obviously a hostage that has Stockholm Syndrome. Now bang me. What are you brats yelling about in here? Chef Pee Pee, what are you doing inside the house? You're supposed to be out there being the cops. I told you I'm not playing that stupid game with you. Wait a minute. If you're in here, then that means... Uh-oh. Wait, Chef Pee Pee, so you're not the cops outside right now? Wait, wait, the cops are outside? What are they doing here? Well, that's supposed to be you. I thought that was you. I was in the kitchen the whole time. But that means whoop de doo Wait, wait, wait. wait. So, Chef Pee Pee, we were playing cops and robbery. Hey, Cody, how'd the cops get called? Well, maybe when I was pretending to dial 911 during the robbery, I actually called them. Oh, oh no. Chef Pee Pee, I need your help. Uh, the, the cops actually think we're real robbers right now. Can you tell them we're not? All right, Bress, I can help you out. It's just a misunderstanding. I can talk to them. Okay, th thank you. All right, Mr. Officers, it's just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Oh, what are we gonna do, Chef? He just died. I'll go talk to him. No, no, Chef, no, 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 no. They do not want to talk to us. They're just trying to kill us. They think we're real robbers. Okay, we have to go upstairs right now. 
Let's go! All right, we killed another one of your friends. You want to come out here and make it three? I don't think they're going to fall for it a third time, mate. Yeah, you're right. But listen, there can't be that many more left. I mean, there's got to be like one, right? Yeah, you just want to bust in there and 2v1 them? Yeah, I think we can take them. Yeah, it's no building and all I got is a blue pistol. <laughs> yeah, we're not noobs. All right, hold on. Let me go grab my gun out of the car. All right. Guys, what are we going to do? Well, I'm the hostage, so I'm good. I'm just going to sit back and eat my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week for a year. <laughs> Shit. But Jeffy, we have to get out of these robber outfits, because that's how they're going to know we're the robbers. Good thinking, Junior. Hey, what about the money? What about it? When you're rich like this, you don't check the forecast every day, it's going to rain. Bit, bit, bit. Well, we have to get rid of the money, because if they see the money, they're going to know we're the robbers. So, so, Jeffy, you hide the money and get out of your outfit, okay? All right, Junior. <laughs> Where the hell is my gun? What? Check it out. No, it's not in date. Where the hell is it? Come on! All right, mate, what's taking you so long? I have misplaced my gun. I don't know where the hell it is. Well, did you check the glove compartment? Did you check the glove compartment? Yes, obviously I checked the glove compartment. Well, did you check underneath your seat? Yes, I checked underneath the seat. All I found was these stupid leftover cheese curds, and, man, I'm actually getting pretty hungry. Well, mate, you can eat the cheese curds after we kill these guys. Come on! I don't know, Simmons. I don't think I can kill these guys without some cheese curds in my belly. Oh, you're probably right. Enjoy your curds, mate. Thank you, I will. Okay, we took the robber outfits off. Now we don't look like robbers. What'd you do with the money? I put it in the offshore bank account so no one can track it. Okay, good. So now we just go out there and tell the cops that we're not the robbers and they'll let us go. Well, they shot Chef Pee Pee and he wasn't dressed like a robber. <laughs> You're right, they did shoot Chef Pee Pee and he was just in a chef outfit. Okay, how do we get him not to shoot us? Well, you guys could dress up like girls, then they think you were hostages. <gasps> Jeffy, we have to dress up like girls like Cody and they'll think we're hostages. It's a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna have big floppy knockers. Okay, let's go dress up like girls. <laughs> Man, those cheese curds were delicious. There's my gun! <laughs> hey, Simmons, guess what I found? Oh, you found your gun, mate. Where was it? It was right under the cheese curds. Oh, well, then good call on eating those curds. <laughs> now, let's go kill these guys. Yeah, come on. Okay, me and Jeffy are dressed up like female hostages, so we're going to get saved. We're not going to get shot like Joseph or Chef Pee Pee. Hey, you guys want to see a tough muff? That's pretty tough. That, that's a power move. Yeah, I should have laid on the first date. So look, now that we're girls, no one's gonna kill us. And they're definitely gonna save me first because I'm the hottest. Wait, no, 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 no. I think we can all agree I'm the hottest. No, you look like a nerdy librarian. Well, yeah, guys have nerdy girl kinks. No, guys go for hot blondes. That's why I'm a blonde. You look like Joe Dirt. You look like you don't wash yourself. You look like you have a hairy butthole. Guilty as charged. You look like you take up the rum. Guilty as charged. Oh, well, listen, they're gonna save me first because I'm the hot blonde. No, I'm the hottest. Well, what do I look like? You look like a, a scary girl who died in a horror movie because she fell into a well. Facts. All right, look, let's just sit here, and when the cops get here, we'll ask them who they think is the hottest. Okay. Help! 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 All right, Simmons, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, go! <laughs> oh, flashbang! Go, 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 go! Careful, Simmons, they could be anywhere. Come on out! Help! 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 I think the hostages are in here. Ladies, you okay? All in. Uh, yeah, well, we're doing really good. Well, where are the robbers? Are they still here? Uh, well, there were only two robbers, and I think you already killed them. Whoa, you hear that, Simmons? There were only two robbers, and we killed them. Oh, the boss will be happy about that, mate. Yeah, I think our work here is done. I mean, you ladies are sure you're okay? Yeah, we're okay. I got a wicked camel toe. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess we should just go, then. Wait, 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 officer. Which one of us is the hottest? Oh. Well, to be completely honest, all three of you are extremely ugly. What? He definitely thought I was hottest. No, I was hottest. Babu, ba ba babu. Jeffy, dinner's ready! Oh man, I can't wait to eat pizza! Daddy, what is this? It's a hot dog, Jeffy. I don't want a wiener in my mouth, Daddy, that sucks! You've had hot dogs before, Jeffy, just eat it. No! Baby, can you get him a napkin so he doesn't make a mess? Okay. What, Jeffy, you ate that hot dog already? He did? Sure did, Mommy. I scarfed that wiener down like a girl trying to get her rent paid. Jeffy! Well, that's what they do! We know, Jeffy. Do you want another one? You ate that really fast. No, Daddy, I'm full. You're a growing boy, Jeffy. I'm gonna get you more. Here's three more, Jeffy. But, Daddy, the rent's already paid! Well, you can get a head on rent. Baby, can you get him a drink so he doesn't choke? Okay. What, Jeffy, you already ate all three hot dogs? Wow, you ate that so fast! Sure did. Can I go play toys now? Baby, we should sign up Jeffy to a hot dog eating contest. Marvin, I don't think we should profit off of Jeffy eating unhealthy food. Oh, come on. He's going to make millions of dollars. Jeffy, do you want to make millions of dollars eating hot dogs? Yeah, could be good. Could be shit. See, he doesn't care. Look, I'm going to call a food competition eating advisor man judge. What? I, I don't know. I'm going to call someone. Hey there. Somebody call a hot dog eating fast committee advisor man? Wait, you're from the board meeting of fast eating food people? <laughs> I, I think I am. 
That sounds right. Uh, yes, yes I am. What, look, what I'm here to do is to just test how long it takes him to eat a hot dog to see if he can be in a hot dog eating contest. Well, Jeffy can eat a hot dog really fast. Tell him, Jeffy. Yeah, I can eat it really fast. Yeah, so, so he, he, I think we can set a world record. Okay, well, see, I have this timer here, and what I'm gonna do is test how long it takes him to eat one hot dog, and then I'm gonna do the math to see how many hot dogs he could eat in 10 minutes. Okay, Jeffy, are you ready? Yep. Okay, and go. Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh, don't oh, sneeze on me too. <laughs> Whoa, you ate that so fast? That only took you like four seconds. That's like, that's like 150 hot dogs in 10 minutes. That'll blow the world record out of the water. What's the world record? 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Oh my God, Jeff, you're gonna set a world record. No, 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 well, hold on, hold on. There's been a lot of cheating in the hot dog eating community, okay? There's been a lot of people who've been like, hey, look over there, and then they just throw the hot dogs over their shoulder into like a flower pot or something. Oh no. Yeah, we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is see if he can eat five more of these bad boys, and then I'm gonna time them, okay? Okay, let me get Jeffy five more hot dogs. All right, Jeffy, here's five hot dogs. All right, now when you eat these hot dogs, I'm gonna watch you like a hawk to make sure you're not cheating, okay? My eyes are never gonna leave your mouth, got it? Yep. All right, let me start the timer. Oh wait, I, I can't look at the timer because I have to watch you. Mm. I can start the timer. No, no, I have to do it because if you do it, you might tamper with it. Hold on, I'll get it. Uh, go up, go up, and to the, to the right. More up, more up. Right there, right there. Did I get it? Yes. Go! Oh, uh, mommy, why is your nipple out? Mm -hmm. What? No, it isn't. Oh, oh my god, did you eat them already? Oh my god, that was so fast. I wish I could have seen it, but when somebody says nipple, I just jump like a dog. Well, wait, Jeff, you ate five hot dogs in nine seconds? Yeah. That's pretty good. Man, I guess I'll have to take your word for it, but I mean, there's nowhere else you could have hidden them, so they have to be in your belly, and I couldn't possibly ask you to eat five more hot dogs. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I officially declare you a hot dog eating contest contestant. Wait, wait, Jeffy's a contestant? Yeah, he can compete in hot dog eating competitions. So that's so awesome, Jeffy! You can try to win millions of dollars now! Great! Alright, but you better train up, because the contest is tomorrow. Wait, it's tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, Jeffy, you need to get to training right now. I think I'm good, Daddy. My throwing arm is ready. What, your throwing arm? Yeah, because I'm going to throw the hot dogs into my mouth. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to be ready tomorrow. All right, I'll see you all there, but keep your nipples in your shirts, okay? I'm kind of a horn dog. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm married. I mean, I can shop around, but I can't buy anything. I did hire an escort one time, because I had a plus one for my daughter's piano recital, and I wanted the other dads to think I had some arm candy, you know, but then I caught her banging the janitor, and everybody thought she was my wife, so that was just even more embarrassing. So now whenever I go to pick up my daughter from school, everyone's like, oh, you, your wife banged the janitor. And my daughter's like, dad, why did mom do that? And I'm like, that wasn't your mother. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, Jeffy, let's train for that hot dog eating contest. Let me get you more hot dogs. All right. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, do you want to put sticky notes on people's windshields so they can crash their cars when they drive? That sounds so sick. But, guys, people are going to notice the sticky notes on their windshields before they even start driving. Okay, we'll put the sticky notes on their windshield while they're driving. What? Oh, okay, first of all, the wind would blow the sticky notes off the car, and also, how are we going to get onto a moving car? We'll stand on an overpass, we'll wait for the car to drive under it, and then we'll jump, land on the windshield, and start putting sticky notes. But, Junior, we're not Deadpool. That would kill us. Stop rolling. And all the fun, dude. You're so lame. Hey, guys, I'm all done. We're trying to find something fun to do. But Cody's ruining all the fun. I just don't want to get hit by a car. Well, I'm joining a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> Did somebody say long meat sticks and throat holes? No one said that. He said hot dog eating contest. Yeah, it's the same thing. I can do that. You can't do that. It's an eating contest, not a sucking contest. <laughs> I can multitask. Just ask Ken. I can churn butter while blowing a trumpet, if you know what I mean. How many hot dogs can you eat, Jeffy? I can eat 150 hot dogs in 10 minutes. <laughs> Child's play. I can double that. That number. Wait, do we have to use only our mouths or can we use all of the entrances of the body? All the entrances? Oh yeah, none of my holes are exits. Any holes a goal. <laughs> I'm used to an intruder busting in the back door. Cody, it would take you 10 minutes to eat one hot dog. Pfft, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, whatever, man. Could somebody please inform Junior of how gay I am? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody want to tell him? Flaming. Yep, I'm flaming. That's right. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, uh, Jeffy, can you please get uh, Cody a hot dog and see how fast I can eat it? Yep. We'll see how fast you can eat it, Cody. Okay. All right, Junior, here's the hot dog you asked for. All right, Cody. Wait, why do you have your shirt off? Oh, well, I just didn't want my shirt constricting me from eating the wiener. And plus, I do better with my clothes off anyway. But I kept my bow tie on, because I'm a gentleman, not a whore. Well, we're going to time you and see how fast you can eat this hot dog. So, Joseph, when I say go, you start the timer, okay? Okay, dude. All right, Cody, you're going to try to eat the hot dog as fast as you can. I know how to do it, Junior. Three, two, one, go! On the knees, hit her back. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Come on, Cody, you're faster than that. Oh. Come on, it's already, it's already almost 10 seconds. Come on, Cody, take all of it. Go, keep going. As good as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought you were fast. 
Go, go. <laughs> Uh, how fast was that? Uh, how fast was that? Oh, 23 seconds. Oh, not my best time, but I enjoyed myself. Well, Cody, there's no way you're gonna beat Jeffy at that time. Hey, look, okay, it's been a long time since I took a wiener that big. Maybe if I had friends that would let me practice on them, I wouldn't suck. Well, I, I mean, I would suck, but I wouldn't suck at sucking. I, I would suck. I, I, you know what I mean. Well, you didn't even finish the whole thing. That wouldn't count as eating a whole one. Look, Cody, just leave the hot dog eating to Jeffy. He's, he's good at it. No, I'm going to enter this hot dog eating contest, and I'm going to win. You'll see. Oh, whatever. I'm going to go practice, guys. I'll see you later. I'd rather put sticky notes on cars. Right? Hello, and welcome to the International Hot Dog Eating Competition. I'm your host, Steve Staleberger, and with me is the judge, Brooklyn T. Guy. <laughs> More like Steve Stale Hot Dog, right? Because... Because this is a hot dog eating contest, and your last name is Stale Burger, so... Stale hot dog. <laughs> okay. Let's meet our contestants! These four fat asses are gonna commit one of the seven deadly sins for our entertainment. They're gonna cram their guts full of hot dogs until they can't no more. Our first contestant is Tubby at So McPherson! Oh man, these sure look good! <laughs> man, Steve, I'd hate to give him a piggyback ride. You know, because he's fat and I'm not very strong. Our next contestant is Cody Raw Dog Nutkiss. Uh, I never asked to see the rules. Do, do we have to use our mouth? Oh man, how do you eat that many hot dogs and still have a body like that? I want his workout secret. Then maybe my wife wouldn't cheat on me. All right, our next contestant is Jeffy Dog Slinger Jeffy. Wait, this is gonna be televised? Of course it is, dumb shit. For the entire world to see me kick your ass in arena swallowing. Oh, what am I gonna do? Now I personally saw that kid eat hot dogs yesterday, and man, I'm telling you, that kid can eat them fast. He's like a machine. Our final contestant is 25-time winner, Teriyaki Kobayashi! Come on, bring it, stupid Americans! Man, chopsticks really didn't slow him down. You know, if I used chopsticks, I'd be a lot thinner. It, you know, because they're so hard to use. Like, I can't pick anything up. Like, why? Just use a fork. All right, contestants! When I say go, you have 10 minutes to eat as many hot dogs as you can! Get ready! Okay, Jeffy, the competition's about to start. Are you okay? No. W why not? I'm not okay because I can't eat this many hot dogs. Sure you can, Jeffy. I saw you eat this many hot dogs at the house. You're fine. Have you, Daddy? Have you seen me eat this many hot dogs before? Well, yeah, you ate a plate of five of them in like two seconds. You you've ate them before. It everything's good. No, because I was distracting you, and when you weren't looking, I was throwing them into the flower pot behind me. Wait, what? Yeah, I've never eaten this many hot dogs. I can eat maybe one, maybe two, but not this many. What? Jeffy, 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 you're screwing with me. Well, we're on live TV. You, you, can't, you can't be doing this right now. You ate all those hot dogs, right? No, I didn't, Daddy. I'm telling you right now that I didn't eat any of those hot dogs. I was just throwing them behind me. Well, Jeffy, we're on national TV. I, I wanted the prize money, Jeffy. Well, if you want the prize money so bad, you can get over here and eat all these hot dogs. Look, look Jeffy, you cheated your way here. You're going to cheat your way to win. What, is he trying to put him in his butt, too? Can, can we not do that? That. Can somebody clear this up for me? Because, I mean, if so, I'll just sit on the plate, and then when I stand up, it'll be squeaky clean. <laughs> Every crumb in my bum. But can you ask, though? Listen, Jeffy, look, I'm going to try to distract the judges, but you're going to try to win this. Do your best to try to look like you're eating them and hide them or something. I'll do what I can, buddy. All right, we're ready to start. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Uh, nobody answered my question, so I'm just gonna put him in my butt. No, hurry up, dumb shit! You're in the last place. Man, the fat one sure is chowing down. Which fat one, Steve? Uh, hey, uh, does anyone know where the bathroom is? Hey, no spectators allowed in the booth. Yeah, sure, man. It's just down the hall on the left next to the vending machine. But, I mean, hey, just a heads up, that vending machine does not work. Okay, it ate my dollar. And I really wish I had that dollar back, because there's another vending machine that does work, like, two halls down, and that one has cheese its Hey, focus on the competition! Wait, wait, did you notice that, uh, three of the, three of the contestants have nipples out? What, nipples? No, really? Oh, nipples. He's the nipples. Yeah, see, Jeffy doesn't have a nipple out. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Look over there. Oh, 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 oh nipples. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mm, mm. Hey, he's just throwing a hot dog shit. No, I'm not. Whoa, well, the 
there! Throwing food is an immediate disqualification! You two are disqualified! <laughs> what? Oh, no! Disqualified? No! I am not lost in 25 years! I'll kill you! <laughs> yeah, it's right! Hit him! Hit him! Yeah, suck him in the mouth! Oh man, now this is fun to watch! Security, could you please get these two bozos out of here? <laughs> oh, come on, bugger! Stop your fighting! Go on, shoo! Shoo! Thank you, security. Well, that was my son, so I, I guess I'll just go. What's this? It looks like we have a winner! <laughs> okay, okay, my colon's about to burst, but I did it. <laughs> the winner is Cody Spastic Colon Nutkiss. Oh, I did it? Really, I won? <laughs> Take that, Junior and Joseph. Oh, man, I gotta poop. <sighs> Hi Marvin, how did the competition go? Jeffy got disqualified for fighting another contestant. Oh no, is Jeffy okay? I sure am, mommy. Aw, Jeffy, I just know you would have won if you hadn't gotten to that fight. No, he would not win. He was never going to win because he actually wasn't eating the hot dogs this whole time. What? Yeah, he said he was throwing them over in the corner in the flower pot. I told you, daddy. Look, just shut up, Jeffy. Don't get my hopes up about winning prize money ever again. Well, can you go get me some pizza? Jeffy, say please. <clears throat> Go! Ow! Hey, chumps. You're looking at the newest hot dog eating champion. What, you actually won, Cody? Yeah, although it's more like the hot dog stuffing champion, because my caboose is all full of meat. How much did you win, dude? Yeah, how much money did you win? Oh, there was no prize. The only prize was my free medium french fries that I get every week. Yeah, that's right. We remembered, and we're going to keep doing it, too. Oh, yeah, hold these, Ken. Look at these french fries. Mm. I'm mm, so tired of you and your french so fries. Good. They're I so do. good, and they're free. Mm, mm, mm.